Hi, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a teach, playthrough, and a review of Australia. I say I'm doing the teach, it's not actually me doing the teaching. But this video is something that I want to do more of in 2019 and moving forward after that. This is going to be a basically a full playthrough of the game which is taught beforehand. So if you just want to learn how to play the game, you can just watch the start of the video. If you then want to see the game being played, you can watch the actual game being played in the middle of it. And at the end, there's a round the table discussion, my review of the game, and of course, the thoughts of the other people at the table as well. Now, this type of video is something that is a patron stretch goal of mine. If I hit the next goal, then I'm going to be doing more of these next year. Why am I doing this one now? Well, I filmed some footage over the weekend, and this is kind of a, a me experimenting on getting used to it. If I do manage to meet that goal, and I do start doing more of these videos, then I need more practice at creating them. So this is, uh, this is an attempt at creating it. To give you an idea of the kind of videos that I will be able to create, um, as I say, if, if my Patreon reaches its goal. So, if you are interested in seeing more videos like this and uh, you don't currently support me on Patreon, then please consider supporting me on Patreon um, because that will enable me to put more time into doing things like this, uh, time, away from my, time away from my paid work in order to create more videos like this, which I've enjoyed doing, but it does take a long time to edit them together. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to start off with the video and I'm going to put some timestamps up on screen. So if you want to skip the rules part of the game and just jump straight to the actual playthrough, then you can. And if you also want to just skip everything and go to what we thought about the game, then I'm going to put another timestamp on screen now and you can just skip straight ahead and get our review of it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm here with a good friend of mine, Adam. Hey. Uh, Rob and Paul from Games Law. Um, Rob and Paul have both played it before. Uh, I have no idea about it whatsoever, so Rob's going to be handling most of the teach, uh, with Paul butting in just in case anything, uh, anything is wrong. If we do make any rules mistakes during the game and somebody points them out, then I will be adding Klingon subtitles to the video. So if you want to turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we get anything wrong, we will be putting it up on screen then. <laughs> uh, apart from that, I'm going to hand over to Rob to take over the teaching. Right, so the game is Australia by Martin Wallace, and after centuries of domination, the forces of humanity finally rose up and overthrew the old ones that had conquered the world. Yay. This was, in many ways, a pyrrhic victory. Earth, as it was, is now a polluted, toxic hellscape. Billions or millions or billions dead, and a desperate need of the surviving forces to gather fresh resources, farmland and food. As a result, the mythical continent of Australia has been rediscovered Yay. and our forces are en route to attempt to set up, set up colonies and begin to you know, exploit the resources, develop farm and try and save their dying populations. Unfortunately, not all of the old ones and their forces were destroyed or driven off world. Some slid off to the dark places of the planet and we have found one of their hideouts. Right. Now, Given the fact that uh, Europe is dying, we can't simply bottle and run, so we've mm -hmm. got to get in there, drive the forces of Great Cthulhu from the continent and establish ourselves as the controllers. Right. Okay. Now this is a competitive game with one minor exception. The old ones have their own faction and they score points and if they have the most points at the end, they win. So we must work together to some degree to ensure that the force of the old ones are wiped out and that they can't destroy us. Okay. The game has two end game conditions. The primary one is all, f all players, including the great old ones, the purple disc. Is that these? Right, yep. okay. Reach <coughs> or pass turn 53. Once you've reached here or further, you no longer take any actions, you stop. At that point, once all players have reached here, we do a final scoring round, which is based on how many of the forces of evil you've managed to kill, how many undestroyed farms you've been able to establish, and how much phosphorus you've managed to mine. Phosphorus is purely That's victory points, large white cubes. <coughs> okay. So there are 12 VPs available from that on the map. Okay, The old ones will add up uh, one point for every farm they've managed to destroy, 
and every monster, as we can see here on the pre-printed, has a victory point of value. Now, one very important rule is, if their tokens are still face down at the end of the game, their points count double. Oh, right, okay. Right. okay. So Cthulhu would be worth 24 face down. If we don't find them, so we have to conduct an aggressive campaign to get from our coastal regions deep into the heartland. So we have to go looking for yeah. Cthulhu. We that, can't trust on that them. Sounds, yeah. <laughs> we can't sounds like a normal yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all rules that will mean a lot of them will wake up, but we can't rely on that right. to wake them all up. So we may have to get in there and do it ourselves. Because there is one other thing that will cause the game to end, and that is if any one of our ports, which are these symbols here, that will yeah. start off on a hex around the coast, yeah. which is, as you can see, this is your player board, or this, this is, represents your port. Okay. It's your barracks, your warehouse, your HQ. Mm -hmm. If this falls after a final defence, if it gets attacked, you are eliminated, and the game immediately ends, and we do go to final scoring straight away. Could there still be a winner... If, so if my port was to be destroyed and the game ends, could, no, could we you all lose? lose? We all lose. Or we do an immediate scoring round. Right. And if we still have more points than there are <coughs> monsters, right. then one of us could win. One player wins, but in that situation it would probably be the great old ones. It would probably be, but because, it might yeah, not if, be. if it happens right at the very end of the game, when there's only one monster left, okay. potentially one of us could score more than the great old ones. But if a port falls halfway through, when most of the high-level reds are still uncovered... It's unlikely that... Unlikely unlikely right, because right, there'll okay. be double points for each of them, and they're all high-level stuff. Okay. If a port falls, the old ones have escaped back out into the world to wreak right. more mayhem. We okay. have to contain them here. Right, OK. okay. Uh, so Cthulhu is one of these Maybe. Threes. Potentially. Yeah. Oh, but, okay. but not all the... He, he is a level three monster. Not all the level three monsters are on the board. Right. The so board is, sand, is seeded randomly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in this case, we've got an awful lot of monsters on the board. Yeah. That's so a what, lot what more you've than missed average. on the video is that there was a set of uh, random tiles that were used to seed this, so it's not always the same setup every time. And am I right in thinking that the board is two-sided? Yes. yes. So what's They're on the other side? Western Australia, which is a barren desert for most of it. Right. So you have a small strip of arable farmland where your um, crops can be planted. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, it's a vast stretch of almost zero-resource desert with at the far end lots of high value victory point locations and more of the great old so ones. Is it a harder yes. setup on the other side? Right. So it's yeah. not just an alternative map, it's a harder map on the yeah. other side. Right. Okay. It also That's doesn't good. have hills. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> and hills create some differences in players will get right. to. Okay. Mm. Right. So we're sort of it's it's semi co op in a way. Yeah. In that if we don't all do our bit that's right. The old ones will win. We are right. competing, okay. but not at the cost of losing the world. Right. Okay. Well, you say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are. If I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose. with me. me. <laughs> Is that Mr. Mr. C? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, Adam's farm. Yeah. 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 Okay. The way the game is going to work is you have a series of actions you can take. Yeah, we all, all have the same player board. All the same player right, board, okay. all of which cost time, which is the little bronze gear symbol with a number inside. Yep. Okay, each action you take that costs time moves your player marker along. Yep. And then, like a lot of the current games, you go when you are the last person in line. Then you take your, take your action, move forward the amount of time you've spent, whoever's then in the rear then goes. Which could be you again. Could be you again if, you've been, if everyone else has jumped ahead with high level actions, you're taking several small ones. Okay. If you when land we... on someone else's marker, the person on top goes next. So it'll often be right. a case of when you, when you, if you and one of the player are all taking one level actions, you would probably do two, then they'll do two. Yeah. The purple disc is treated just like ours, so once it's the last disc in line, they, they start to go. Right. So, so they're not going to do anything until. So yeah. we've got a bit of a. We've got about 20. A grace period. 18 20, turns. 22. Less, oh, but less yeah. Where yeah. Yeah. Why did we start on six? Oh, yeah. because there's a little icon there saying. That's it. Four With fewer players, you need more time to prepare before the gotcha. bad guys yeah, yeah, show yeah. up. Makes sense. Okay, so that's when they activate. They activate in a very simple, they'll just move, on, move forward one step. Um, every other action triggers an event. Where we can really like it. Triggers events. Which will normally be either some of our. Characters get murdered, yeah. or they start to wake up. Right. And occasionally, at high level ones, it'll also be they'll wake up and then move. So there's nothing good in them decks. They're all bad. Oh, These are all bad. Yeah, the best thing we can hope for is no event, oh. and that's because we're playing the easy version of the game. The hard version of the game just says take out all 
no event oh, right, okay. and take out all no no actual monster right, black okay. tokens. Right. Every time the purple one moves, we will resolve movement cards from this deck. If there are any monster cards. Yeah, provide there's at least one monster that can move. This deck does has two functions. One is to determine movement of any monsters on the map. I'll just do a quick demonstration. So we're looking at the top and we're looking at this in terms of which ones have white circles. So if this becomes the movement, mm -hmm. in this movement card, all Shoggoths and all Mego will move. Now, they will move towards the closest viable target, which is farms and ports. If they're equidistant, we use the number here, in relation to the <coughs> compass here, and clockwise or anti-clockwise, to work out which one they prioritise. So bear in mind, if you've built a port and a line of farms deep into the heartland, you have just given a very large arrow pointing to your base, which can be followed. That will, you know this that experience. Will be, that will be yes. the first target. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So okay. if you build something there, and as soon as that wakes up, it's going to go straight for it. Prepare your, your army. Yeah. If you want to go there, it's going to be high risk, high reward, because there's lots of resources there, but also lots of monsters. Is there any way that I could talk quite nicely to the Shoggoth and ask him to go and attack the other Amigo? You can try, it'll do horrible, horrible things uh, with those tentacles. Yes, you put farms all the way to their, to their base. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they will so follow they have, the line they have farms. a very basic... Yeah, automated process, which is simply nearest target, kill it. Okay. So we have six different dribblies that may appear on these tiles. Right. Okay. Temples never move. They are in all ways almost completely harmless, except high level event cards will cause high level monsters to spawn from them. Right. So when temples show up, you want to destroy them. Okay. You have traitor humans, they're ones who throw the lot in with the great old ones and stay loyal to their masters. It's, it's always me. <laughs> you have zombies, hordes of the undead, there's always zombies in these always situations. You have Mego, fast and flying, you have Shoggoths, you know, tentacle tanks, and out there there may also be Great Cthulhu himself. Right. Okay. So we can go into that in more detail when we get to here. Yeah. But basically, when, when we get to here, they start to a card's going to get drawn yeah. from there. No, and a, a card gets drawn from here <coughs> when we get onto the white ones. Yeah, so and when, the, when the purple marker well, takes a turn. Two of the, yeah, if, as long as there is something on the map that's going to do something, we'll do two movement cards okay. from here. Now, it's not always guaranteed which ones will move, but when they do move, they'll move towards the closest okay. target. So these don't move until they've woken up? Yeah. And how do they wake up? Events. Events or when you or send, when, attack. when you yeah. attack. Okay. Right. So you have a military force that you'll build up, which you can use to use the striking force. At the start, you haven't got any military because you weren't expecting armies of the undead and you know dread, you know, dread beings from beyond the skein of, re of reality. Right. But you very quickly start hiring up the sort of crazy mercenaries that like to go off and fight those sorts of things because it's a bit of a laugh. Okay. The game will proceed, as we said, taking time in order for you to try and yep. spread out from your starting port location in order to exploit resources. Gather coal, iron and gold, and also phosphorus, which is worth VPs. Build farms, because farms are VPs for you at the end, and generate gold when you first create them. And you'll have to also build your rail network, because Australia is vast, and this is only the 1910s. Yeah. We do not have a good you know, infrastructure. You can't just expect your men here to drive off halfway across the desert without support. For that, you need your railways. I'll just demonstrate quickly with my port marker being here temporarily. You have a radius around hexes you control from which you can send out a strike force to attack based on the movement value as shown on the units here. So you have infantry, armoured cars and artillery. You also have airships and armoured trains. Infantry have a movement range of one, so that means they can strike one hex beyond the end of a network. So right now my infantry can target any units here, as can my artillery. Armoured cars are faster, range of two, they could range out this far. Airships, they're fast, four, so an airship has got a good targeting radius. Armoured trains, zero. Now armoured trains therefore cannot ever be used to initiate attack into a new hex, yep. but if the monsters get into your rail network and are marching towards your base, your armoured trains can fight yeah. along the network. Oh, okay, so and they've got a lot of hit points, yeah. so they're a good way of soaking up hits. Yeah. <clears throat> so, 
one of the key elements is establishing a rail network to let you reach new areas. So if I've built three tracks like that, mm -hmm. this is now my network. So my infantry can now strike to Within all these areas. Network, yeah. right. okay. And I now also have access to these three hexes in order to mine to harvest resources and build farms. But of course, building farms here now means when these wake up, yeah. they've got a priority target. Yeah. And I'm right in thinking that only one player can build a track on a hex side? On a hex side. Yeah. So Adam could then build through this way. Right. And um, whichever one always gets our farm in first gets our farm in first. But he couldn't then try and build yep. back along here. Okay. okay. So rail networks are how you get into the heartland to find more resources and kill more monsters. The other thing I'd point out is you can't have three rail tracks. You're always building two at a time. Yeah. Well, you can choose not to build one. <laughs> If you haven't got the never, space one. Well, well, never you, seen anyone do that. Yeah, it'll okay. be, it'll so be a bit dark. track yeah. action is two. Two, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. That's as it's shown here. Yeah. So the action's available Action. to you. Mm -hmm. First things first. Oh, hang on, I'm on, the, I'm on the wrong side. Oh, these are two sides as yeah. well. Because yeah, there's no phosphorus on, on the, right side. On on the, the right other side. side. Everyone else is fine. This, this one got tossed, tossed all the way around. Okay. Yeah, on the other side, because there are no hills, yeah, you have, you don't two, have the hexes. Okay. You know, two of those identical. Yeah. Right. So, first railway build costs you two time, also costs you coal. Coal and an iron. And an iron. Right. In order to build a railway. It lets you place two, and yellow and white and orange means coastal regions and outback, because it's oh, okay. flat and you can build relatively quickly. The other one. Well, one below it. the hills. Yep, that includes the hills. So it's the same resources, you still need iron and coal. It more time. But it costs more you more time because you, yeah. you have to dig out and build bridges. Okay. So that's how you establish a rail network. Yeah. And the way you do an action is simply, I'm doing that action, so I place a cube to show I've done the action. I spend really the time. Okay. Do your build. Spend resources. Yep. The Point reason you mark them is, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second as to why mm -hmm. you mark them like this. Okay. These two are both mining. They're the exact same action. Cost you one time. Any hex you are connected to, you take all of one kind of resource. All of one kind. Of yeah, so you mine quite quickly. Now I'm going to go back to the railways just quickly. You cannot build a railway into where there is a okay. monster token. Right. Your, your workers are. Uh, are Which is what the range is for. Why, yeah. why you need yeah. the range yeah. of the and That's why you can't use armour trains on the offensive, because yeah. you can't build a network in an attack. You've got to stop next to it. Gotcha. Okay, thanks for that. Yep. So that's how you exploit the map. So Coal, iron, gold, phosphorus. Yeah. This one is recruiting new personalities. Now these mm -hmm. are generally very useful. Mm -hmm. They're unique individuals or occasionally unique teams. They will have a either a continuous effect or a one-off effect. One effect or a once per situation yeah. effect. Once per combat, end of game scoring, persistent. persistent. So it says at the bottom. And one yeah. use. One one use. <coughs> right, okay. So they'll tell you when to use it. Okay. Always very, very handy. You this, take them and put them in front of you. And, um, then, and then a new one comes yeah, out. So you always can have, have unlimited always, numbers. Yeah, always five. As long as you can recruit them, you get them. Right. But of course, you have limited time to do it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. all them you're recruiting means you're not doing other I'm just going to hire 53 people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I've not this counted one, the cards in the deck. Okay. Importing military equipment. Right. That means you get to recruit. Costs you one time to recruit. You either recruit one airship, one armoured train, one artillery, one armoured car, or one or two infantry. So infantry are cheap and rapidly, and you can get them quite quickly. And the cost they, of gold is in the yeah, top left. Cost gold is there. Oh right, which is why there's two ones on two the ones, And they yeah. live in your barracks, not on here. So you take them from there, from here, you put them here. You put them in your barracks to show, okay, this is now my current strike, okay. maximum strike force. Yep. And these are limited. Yep. Right, okay. All units in your barracks, as an aside, if your base comes under attack, will all fight in its defence. Okay. So there's never a situation where you where you can leave your base under defence if you have military units. So your units, them. as you say, do, they don't go out on the board. They, 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 they go out, here. strike, come back home again. So yeah. that's what you expect expeditionally force areas for. And so if the people die, do they go back into the states? Yes, people yeah. or more, there's more, more than available for recruitment for other people. Okay. <coughs> Import, export. Two actions, so you get to do... Yeah, Two things, each thing is either take a coal or iron, or sell a coal or iron for a gold. So right. even when the map's exhausted, you've always got a source of coal and iron building more railways. Oh, you just take it, because you're importing <coughs> it. You're importing <coughs> it, yep. yeah. no, or, if you're, or if you already have it, you export it for money. So I can take 
a coal and an iron, or I could take two coal, yep, or I could take, take a coal iron. and sell an iron. Yep. Whatever, just two actions. If, right. If you were desperate, you could take a coal and sell a coal. To get one. To get one right. coal. Okay. Yeah. Yep. There's generally better ways of getting it, but just in case you're in a bad situation. Okay. Nor normally, it's you want resources yep. to keep building railways. Yeah. yeah. These two I'll get. I'll get to in a second. This one, building farms. Now, I say farms get you gold, and they're also worth VPs. They're a little bit unusual in how they work. Firstly, you must have train access to the area, yeah. so I can't build here until I've got a train network to get to it. Right, okay. Secondly, as an action, you may build one of each kind of farm. Right. Okay, so okay. I, I can build one corn farm out on the coast, I can build one sheep ranch out in the outback, and one cattle farm up in the hills. As an action, you could as build all three. Yep, yeah, between one and three, each but it's token you place. one TP per farm, yeah, so one that's time. Time. Yeah. time point. Right. One time okay. point. So if I, want, if I had a rail network which linked here, here and here, as one action I could spend three times, put down three farms and get three gold. Right. And that is then, if I keep them safe, is worth six VPs at the end of the game. Okay, and you have to build the corresponding farm to the... Yeah, that's it, there. so, okay. yeah. Corn, yeah, grain farms out here, yeah. cattle in the hills, Cows in the hills. sheep in the outback. Right. Okay. Attack. Attack is how you engage enemies that aren't directly assaulting your base. Now the way that works is, you send an expeditionary force. So if I say had some infantry, put the tiles on here, an armored car, let's put an extra one on here. There an artillery and an airship. Okay, there's there's currently a gribbly there within strike range. So this is what I've got. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If I knew what that was, I'd know which units are best. Well, let's we'll say it's um, yeah. We'll say it's zombies. Well, we'll see what it is when we flip it over. Yeah. I can choose to send a strike force in of between one and three different kinds of core units as well as support units. One of three? Yep. So I can just send in infantry. I could send in infantry and armoured cars, infantry armoured cars and artillery or any combination thereof. Oh, right. So you could send all three yep. or just one time? The reason why you might well, don't send all three of them in all the time is it's one time point per different ground force you're sending in. Right. So if I send in all three, that's going to cost me no, three go, time. Yeah. No oh, extra time for using oh, airships and armoured trains. To support. But it's always, cost, it's always minimum cost of one, yeah. So if I just send out a fleet of airships, that still it's costs still me one. one. Even but though you haven't sent any land forces. That's gotcha. It. Okay. Okay, so if I know, for example, that that's zombies, which artillery is weak against. Zombies, infantry are good against zombies. Yep. But artillery is poor. Obviously. There's no point yep. sending in artillery. And spending extra time for you know, that isn't going to get me any real, unlikely any sort of real result. Right. So I might just spend two times to send an infantry and armoured cars backed up with the airships because they're free to send in. Right. If they would moved onto my train network and I had armoured trains, I could send them in as well. Okay. Right. Okay. But he'd know what it was by then. Mm -hmm. when, when he attacks in, he has to decide what forces, and then we flip it over. Yep. And in this case, it's a kangaroo. It's a kangaroo. So I've already committed the time, I've Kill mobilized it. my force, and it turns out. <laughs> Take out the room. Kill it! It's obviously evil. It's it's Cthulhu. Kill, kill, kill it and put kill. it on the barbie, at least you yeah, had something to exactly. eat. Exactly. Yeah. Getting one food. Right. Okay, so if, it, if I turned out I just sent an infantry and an airship and I was against something that, were, that they were weak against, before the fight begins in earnest, I mm -hmm. can choose to withdraw my strike force. Okay. If I've realised I've made a huge mistake, right. I'm not going to do any damage, I'm going to get wiped out here. I go straight away. Right, okay. So that even if you but run... you spent the time. Yeah, you still spent the time, unfortunately, yeah. and then you've had to retreat, but at least now it's face up and it stays face up for the rest of the game. Okay. But it will now start to move towards you because you've made it angry. And you can repair troop morale and... Uh, yeah. And, and if you, if you, if you, if you survive the fight, everything heals up. So any damage that okay. you're sustaining heals. I'll get to the combat in a, combat in a second. Yeah. Okay. Finally, you have withdraw cubes you've already spent. Right. Now, this is important because you can continue to place cubes on actions you've already done. Okay. But it costs you one gold per cube that's already on there. So, if you repeat the same action, it costs you a gold. Yep. So per okay. cube that was on there so, yeah. already. That's just one coal, one iron. That's, that's one coal, one iron, one gold. gold. That's one coal, one iron, two gold. Yeah. Okay. So it's more and more expensive to keep repeating the same actions, which does include things like attack. So that action for one time clears all your cubes Clear back. All that's your cubes back. Yeah. Right. That's why you have two mining actions which are identical. Yeah. So you can always so your two first two mining actions are always free. Okay. And it's why we start with some gold so that we've got yeah. a chance. You've to got you've got gold to recruit and if right. you need to be gold to 
take actions twice. Okay, that makes sense. What does this I come down here mean? Phosphorus is worth VPs at the end. Phosphorus equals... You get a gold when you pick it up, plus it's worth three VP at the end. Right. Okay. Mm. I mean, I'm happy to skip past the rules on combat for now. Yeah. yeah. Just while we get while started we and up. going. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there is one quick thing I want to just... I, I won't go back on, but don't go into the details, but it is not a case of a bigger army does more damage. Right. It's simply a case of each unit has a chance of doing damage. So sending in four infantry or sending in one infantry would only do one damage if Marga shows up saying infantry get to do damage. Okay. But you can send in more because they'll soak more hits. Right, so okay. a varied force is more likely to do, do, do more damage than a stack of four of the same unit. Right. Right. Okay, and damage is doled out between ground forces and airships separately. Purple cube means damage to your ground troops, which is all four of these. Airship symbol means damage to airships. Right. And in fights, you can, you, if you can choose to withdraw them separately. So your ground forces and your airship fleet can operate independently in a combat, and you can pull back one but not the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> so first things first, we have some player order. So yeah. Red, blue, green, yellow. So, you're going first. so in reverse so player order, oh. we now get to establish our beachhead. Mm. So it must be on one of the port symbols around the map. Down here is generally further away from a lot of the monsters, which means you're safer early on, but you're often further away from resources, and it takes you longer to get to the high level monsters you might want to kill. Right. Whereas up along that side of the, you know, the east coast, you can get into some high level monsters faster, but there also comes the risk of the high-level monsters coming to get you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The high-level ones tend to tend to drift this way, whereas the low-level ones tend to come this way because of the way the map's set. So I will place... Uh, yeah, we must place at least two hexes away from... Now, I'm going to put here because I want access to coal and iron to build more at railway. At least two hexes away from a gribbly. Yeah, so, yeah. No, no, from other players. So from other players. These so, are now out, so, of, out, of, out, of, out of bounds. So you can't place there or there. So or, at least there or there. You're three, three hexes away. Yeah. And it's now two, green. Two, at least two in between. Yeah, yeah. at least. And now it's green right, to place. Oh, God. Um, it's good resources, but early risk yeah. for me. I might try going. Yeah. I'm going to go here because it's near as me. Okay. In that case, I will. I will go here. Sorry, between these two. Okay. Can I, can I ask, us, is there any chance of a surprise first turn Cthulhu? No. No, that's all right. <laughs> Cthulhu is not Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> Until we get there. <laughs> yeah, they won't, they won't activate. Right. And, and but if, that, if that doesn't mean we aren't going to go and kick them before that time. If Cthulhu, Cthulhu is in there, there, he is a level three, so he won't be anywhere except right at the back. I just know the way that my luck goes. I'd right, one of the land things. Land but then... There are... <laughs> yeah. As the event cards turn over, they're likely to kick off um, monsters turning over. They kick off in the order of these squares, so one to four, five to nine. Yep. So they, we can see they're going oh, to activate the in result. these. Yeah. Right. So this one would be the first one to turn over naturally. This will be the second. Okay. Right. Yep. So that's, that's the level so we can be aware of. Up there, we've got a little bit of time. Yeah, yep. it's good. Okay, so set up done. Okay, so we get to begin. So I will. You will go first because yep. you're on top. I will start. Which action are you going to do? I am going to build two railway. So that costs. That costs me two time. Two time. Yeah, because he took the top yep. action. Pop, <coughs> pop. I'm going to build there. I'm going to build there. Okay, and now it's yep. blue. No, it's blue. Which is me. I'm going to spend three time. So I like taking my time over things. I'm going to spend a coal. And an iron to mm. build two railways, and I have to use the three time action because you, if you want to build the, I'm going to be you. building into there, yep, and also into there, yep, that's absolutely fine. Mm. Green, that's me. Mm. Um, I will spend two time to 
build two flowers. I'm assuming this is a standard opening move. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't much. build. You can't do anything beyond. Or yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's that or grabbing them or recruiting military. Well, actually, we didn't cover these. We will quickly read these out. Okay. Uh, so we have Juliet Verne. If you have an airship present in combat, you inflict one damage automatically. One. So she, she's nice. She's just an immediate, I do one damage, tap once her per, out. Once per one combat. Mr. Mourinho gives you one V point VP for every sheep farm at the Does end of the game. Sheep farms worth three VP rather than two. Yep. Capena Alica. How do you pronounce that? If your farm is attacked, you can defend it by taking an immediate attack action. So what that means is you will get to mobilise, but you have to physically take the action, which involves paying time and any gold cost if you've already taken it. Okay. And your farm is still destroyed. Uh, Freddy Kassan, place two farms of your choice. You still earn one gold piece per farm, and you still have to have valid places to place them. Yep, so he's eventually one time to place two farms rather than two time to place two farms, and it could be two of the same. And Zhu Zhang, who makes your airships, instead of have two defence points, she gives them three. Yep, so that's, that's a good combination of those so two. if you had both... That one and that one. Yeah, it's up an airship. Combo, you move, yeah, you've got quite, quite a nice little strike. Force. And airships are great for sniping at um, monsters, enabling you to have a share of the VPs. Right, okay. Now, as we hadn't explained that, I'm going to do my predicted move anyway. I'm going to put track into the hills for three time and one of each resource. So three time for yellow. Yeah. Okay, so it's now green. Oh, all right. Mm, God, I hadn't thought that before. <laughs> um, yeah. So I want to go and mine it, I think. Yeah. So I can take all, all of them from there. Yeah. All of the resources of one type from a hex in which you are connected to. That cost me one time. Okay. I will spend two time in the gold to take this action again as well as my coal and my iron. Build two more rail networks here and here. Mm. Should we get it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you're taking small actions, you may find you're getting yeah. you know, a couple back to back. I will go there again. Okay, gold. So two time. Two time. And a gold. And I should place two more rail tracks. And uh, coal and a nine as well. And coal and nine. I don't think I spent that the first time, do I? No, no you I haven't. Think you, did. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't harvested extra, so. So I'll go there. And there. <coughs> Let me. You're up. I'm going to harvest, and I'm going to take that coal. Which is one. Yeah. And I am also going to spend one time to oh, mine, yep. and I'm going to mine this lovely white phosphorus. So that gets you a gold. Oh, it gets you a gold when you mine. Yeah, yep. and, right, okay. yep. and it goes in your warehouse. It just sits there and work. It's worth VPs at the end. There you go. Okay, uh, it's, it's me again. Still you again. <laughs> I'll harvest again, and this time I'll take all of this lovely gold here. One, two, three. Don't forget to put your marker down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to build track again, which means I have to pay coal, iron, and a gold. I'm going to build out into there, and unsurprisingly, across into there. Yep. Okay, so the yellow jumps forward three times. Cool. Red <coughs> now mines twice. Because I'm going to do one action to mine the gold, and I'll take a second action. This might go again to mine the iron. Mm. Right. Might be time to do something different. So, what are the yellow ones? Logan. You have no forces yet. You no, I know. But the yellow ones issue. could be any of those. Well, not Cthulhu. Cthulhu is a red one. Yeah, yeah. They're not Cthulhu, they're not Shoggoths. So, you're probably looking at a combination of temples, inf uh, traitor infantry. Uh, zombies and li and uh, light oh. Migos. Okay, but basically recruiting is probably... Or, if you wanted to think about an airship, going and getting an airship quite early. 
That is a very if nice card. If you have an airship present in combat, inflict. Okay. Let, let, there is, there is one version of that card for each military unit. Right. right okay. So I'm going to take Juliet Verne. She's mine. That's the action. It cost me one time. Yeah. And you get to replace with. Lieutenant Singh, if you have an armoured car in combat, do one damage automatically. So, so here's the, here's the, the armoured armor. car version of Juliet. Yep. Okay. Okay. You place your marker. Blue's gone. Green. Uh, I shall, for one time, purchase Lieutenant, Lieutenant Singh. Singh. And he is replaced with Donald McDonald. <laughs> he gives you two iron, two gold, and two coal. From the supply, Donald McDonald. Yes, and he's he's so coming. When you take him, you get stuff. <coughs> he's coming over. He's coming to your port, and he's got resources with him. Yeah, well, you, re you, you requisition invest. them. Yeah. He wants to invest. Right, right, it's green again. Yeah. Hmm. I shall <coughs> mine all the gold. Just one. Just gold. And then it's me again. So airships normally take two damage before they're eliminated. With her, they'll take three. Yeah. So it means they can stay in that fight for an extra turn. Go on, let, let, let's do it. So I'm going to recruit again, so which costs a gold. gold. Yeah. And I'm going to take Zhu Jiang. Yeah. Well, I had that combination last time, and it was quite an effective combination. Okay. I like that combination too. And he's replaced by Kitchener. You take one personality card from the display. You can then play that at some point when a better card comes out. Right, right. One time use only. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Did you move yourself on, Paul? I don't think I... No, you, you, so you've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actions. You should be on seven spaces along. No, from number four spot, Paul. Yeah, so I should have gone there, so it's not you next. No, nope. it's me. It's red. red. Yeah. Yes, because I did two hill actions did, there. Yes. They're, they're expensive. I will take Donald McDonald and get myself two of each resource. Replaced by Professor Guillaume. Reduce time point cost for, an, for attacking by one to a minimum of one. Uh, second action is going to be to take that because that's a really good card. So that costs me a gold. And there's my second one. And he's replaced by Lord Blackstock. He brings four gold. Okay. Mm. So what he will mean for me is I can now send out infantry and armoured cars for one time or a full strike force for only two. Yeah. So he's a very useful card. Blue. So I'm going to import some... Military. Military. And I'm going to, believe it or not, I'm going to buy an airship. Sure, car. Right. It costs four gold. Yep, I guess what anyone saw that coming. So airships can range out on their own. They are a strike range of four, but they still cost one time. Yeah. If it's just them. Yeah. Yeah, it's me, isn't it? Okay, yeah. that's all. Very useful for waking up monsters. Construction should be for one. Um, so I can buy one armoured car now, can't I? And just, I can only buy one. Yep, yeah, so it costs you three gold. Three gold. You may have mentioned this, I may have. Can I buy infantry at the same time? No, it's one one thing, not on there, on your barracks. Oh, yeah. They only go to the strike force when you send them out to <coughs> attack out. or something. Okay, I'm going to take a card. My card is going to be uh, Lord Blackstock, who is going to give me four gold. Gold, plenty of gold. We got, sorry, we got. Yeah, but they didn't look like there was enough. We got loads here. Right, uh, Lady Carter, take four coal from the supply. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of these are. Similar for the different resources, yep. which is good. So similar, similar for the different resources, similar for the different military yeah. units. Do you like the artwork? I don't know who the artist is. Uh, I'm then going to mine, and I'm going to pick up the iron. Oh, it's me again. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> but we're getting closer to the monsters starting. Yeah, yeah. So who have we got out? We've got someone there, farmers. Take four coal. Uh, Defend your farms. So this this here is one use rather than... So you can keep these and use them when you want? Yes. Yeah. Right. But the, but these ones, you might as well do it straight away. Yeah. So these ones, yeah. you can keep and do it... Yeah, Kitchener you'd use when, when you when, want. When, when the, really one that, the really good one that comes out that you recognise that you want, 
you'd spend them at that point. Even if it's not your turn? If you, oh, you can activate them at your turn. On your turn, yeah, right. right. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will... I will go there again. I shall pay gold to go there. Mm-hmm. I shall move forward one. And I shall pay two gold to buy two infantrymen. Okay. Two infantry over to Adam. Thank you. Because what's life without some cannon fodder? So, hypothetically speaking, if I was to do an attack now, yep. I only have my airship, so it would be the attack action. It would cost me one time. Yep. And I could go within four of my network. Yep. yep. And then what would I do? I'd reveal okay, it so and there'd be a fight. So what you'd do is you'd first move all units that you're sending to your strike force mm-hmm. so on your expeditionary force. You'd pay the time equal to the units that you've sent. One. Well, yeah. Yep. You'd place this marker on the region you're going to attack. Mm-hmm. Then you flip it over and we see what it is. You can choose to immediately withdraw if you realise you're outgunned. Otherwise, you begin a round of fighting where you will continue fighting until either you you choose to withdraw, mm-hmm. you are forced to withdraw, you get wiped out, or you wipe out the enemy. Okay, so let's say that this is a zombie. Mm-hmm. How many hit points is the zombie likely to well, have? Because of your card, I do one you damage do one damage automatically. automatically. How much damage is it going to take to uh, kill them? Um, two Low level three, ones, probably. Two or three, they're relatively light. Okay, they? but one, two or three. There so are ones as what well. I'm saying is, with this setup and one airship, do you think I would be able to take on one of these? Yes, you've probably got a good shot. I mean, airships airships are poor against zombies, but they're average against everything else. So if it is a zombie, you might be in a bit of trouble, but you can run away. I'd be better buying some infantry first. Probably. Let's yeah, do that. But that does do limit that. your limit your range. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Because I'm only going to go one anyway. That's fine. So I'm going to buy import, which is one yep. time. It also cost me a gold. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two gold to buy two infantry. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Right. Done. It's well, interesting that the yellow ones are one and the green ones are two. Yep. I would have thought it would be. Well, it's also sort of yellow. Is, yeah, yellow is the outer ring, green is the inner ring, red is the outer oh, okay. ring. Yeah, maybe it ties into that. Yeah, but I can see why you're saying Traffic lights. Intuitively, it should be green, yellow, and red. Yeah. So, funny enough, I will also start building up my military. So it cost me one time, and I spent two gold to get myself a couple of Did BBI. they have traffic lights in 1911? Uh, I don't know. Probably a bloke saying they were the flag instead. <laughs> yeah. I will, uh, for those, those people watching who are interested in the history of traffic lights, I will, <laughs> I will quickly look it up. forward one, please? Sorry? More, move one forward one, please. And then my next action will be to export. I'm going to sell a couple of iron for two more gold. Yep. And we're back to Paul. Yep. Oh, right, okay. So I am going to attack. Okay, so you spend that. You spend the time, so you can spend one time. One time because I'm spending one different land force. Yep, and yep. your airships back up, up for free. Okay. Okay, so you pick your target. There. Okay, it's got the gold. Flip it face want. over. Face up, let's see what you run yourself into. It looks like a zombie. It's a zombie with which worth one VP and it has two hit points. Okay. So do you wish to disengage or do you wish to continue on? Fight! Okay. So, uh, they are poor against zombies then. Who? Infantry the aren't they? Infantry are. Infantry, infantry oh, good. Infantry. Yeah, they yeah. actually maybe, you yeah. know. So, first things first. First round of combat. So I don't do this first? Yes. <coughs> no, we, we reveal the card. During this phase, you can then inflict damage. Okay. But this, ha- yeah, if you want to fight, this has to happen. Okay. That card, the card needs shuffling back in, I guess. Yeah, it'll form, it'll form other discard pile. Right. So, the first two columns are which units of yours do damage to them. In this situation, if you have an armoured train, you'll do one damage. If you've got an armoured car, you'll do one damage. Mm-hmm. Zombies will then do one damage to one of your ground forces. Mm-hmm. And... That is sanity. The Expedition Force has their morale, their sanity, effectively. That does one damage to that. If that stack runs out and you take one more damage, your force breaks and runs away. Any damaged units are destroyed. All undamaged units come home. Okay. Okay. So I take a sanity. You take a sanity loss. Which is just... Yep, just on the way. Okay. It just, right. it just runs the stack down. Yeah. But you have done one damage. 
Yep. Because well, you can no. No, I you, haven't. You can now choose to activate her. Yep. To do one damage. Right. Which should I do that? One. Yep. Put your blue cube. Yep. So you may now choose to withdraw nah. or take the next fight. Keep going. Okay, your next fight. Could I have put that damage on there? No, because it was purple cubes is ground forces, airships is airships. So this one here, for example, yeah. good example. Shogoth Cthulhu hits, yeah. and the Migo hit a ground force of your choice. The Shogoth would hit the airship. Now, because you've got one damage on there, if you take another damage, that top unit will die. Yeah. yeah. But I can't choose to take the damage on no, the airship. Because it's not a ground force. The airship, like I say, there, the ground tro troops and your airship are two separate forces. For everything involved in combat. But the advantage of me using an airship is for the bit on the left hand yeah, side. Because you've now inflicted another damage. Because of the airship. You've killed the zombie. Yeah. The air so the, the infantry held the line whilst the airship killed the zombie. So that does one more damage, which kills the zombie. You take it because you're the only person who did any damage. It's a trophy. Just put it near you because it's worth one VP for you at the end. Okay. And then that's it. Your yeah, forces yeah. come home, all physical damage is healed up, and your sanity is restored. Comes back. Back. They head, back, yeah, they, 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 head, they head down yeah, to the barracks. head back to your barracks. And then all forces move back to your barracks because they're no longer part of the expeditionary force. And you presumably have a great process of combat. Okay. Interesting. So that's the combat mechanic yeah. with the with the cards. So right. It's not overwhelming force, it's a, it's the right variety of yeah. units. Okay. Mm. Adam. Mm. Otherwise. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure they're post 1911. Yeah. Um. So I could, so I could, for instance, go and attack on that one. Just yep, it's within your network. You've got infantry and, mo and cars. I have, have a go, I suppose. Okay. Um, so first things first, you assign to. your units to your expeditionary force based on how many you want to send, and you pay your time cost. You also place a cube on the attack action. You'll be surprised. Yeah. I'll just right. So. I don't know if uh, the world's first traffic light was short-lived. It was a manually operated gas-lit signal installed in London in December 1868. It exploded less than a month after it was implemented, <laughs> injuring its policeman operator. Um, but then the... Um, uh, yeah, so some guy from Chicago patented the first automatic one in 1910. Wow. So the year before this game was set. Uh, it had the word stop and proceed, although neither word lit up. There you go. <laughs> Top facts about traffic lights, which is I know the reason why most people tuned into this yeah. video. So lethal, uh, lethal yeah. traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only said injured. Oh, injured. Lethal. injured. Green we wouldn't laugh as much. Okay. Yellow gets to go. So yellow is going well, to go what did you do? I just and buy some, some artillery. So artillery is expensive. So we yeah. have to pay five for it. You're trying right. to maximise the use of that. <laughs> mm. right. Oh yes. And that puts me forward one time. Yep, and you get to go again. I'm surprised that no one's built any farms yet. Is this? Well, the problem with building farms is that they get you gold, so I'm gonna take but there are other time. sources of gold. Whilst they are worth and VPs, go and buy another they're only worth VPs at the end. And I'm going to buy Lady and Carter. And they're primary target oh, for the enemy. For coal. No, I don't need coal. Let's take that back. I thought it said gold on it, but I've already had that one. So, uh, I will buy... No, I will... Can you build a farm where your port is? No, that's, no that, that is your base. Yeah, each hex can sustain one building. I will... I will mine again. Cost of one to take those three. Okay. Green. Mm. Mm. Okay, I shall try and attack something. Why is that in red? Mm. I don't know. Mm. That must be a. Uh... It may be something to do with the solo campaign. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there is a solo campaign. I've not read through the rules for that. Okay. Go on, go on, go on, so, go attack. You, so you assign which foot forces you're sending in. Where are you attacking? Okay, so that costs you two time. Move yourself forward two. Pick your attack location. I'm going to try that. And you move to see your Come on, kangaroo. And discover kangaroo. It's kangaroo. Oh, so you, you just, just plough it down. Yeah, you? <laughs> you, went, you went over. You're, you're getting meat tonight. Excellent. 
but you keep that just to show that you wasted vast amounts of military resource, time, and effort <laughs> on chasing, chasing, chasing rumours. Yeah. Is there um? Is there a kangaroo that's wearing like tattered yellow robes and no, you no. can't see his face and can't speak his name? No, no kangaroo protagon. Mm. Blue, Paul. Yes. I'm going to build truck with what resources? Really? Oh, yes, you have got the, the, yeah. the resources. I've got right, my glasses on. The resources <laughs> are right there in his in his uh, HQ. Um, it matters not one week whether I go there or there. Nope. So I'll go there, and then I'll go there. It does matter slightly does because it? when these monsters move into your rail network, they cut off your network. Okay. So if you're doing that and a monster moves to there, you've lost access to this area as well. Okay. Which okay. Have that. I'll put that on there. If one moves to there, <coughs> your, your network is still safe. Yep. Yeah. Yes, your trains won't drive past uh, monsters yeah. for some strange reason. So it's over to me. Train so driver turns around the head train. <laughs> I'll yeah. spend one time to recruit, and I'll spend a gold and five gold to recruit some artillery. Five gold for artillery? Yeah, yeah. five artillery. gold for artillery. Artillery is expensive. Oh, houses. Wow. Yep. I'll then go again, and I'm going to send a strike force out to give this a vigorous probing. I send out infantry and artillery, but Two. because of my ability, it only one. costs me one. Where was that right? So I'm going to try and strike here. Range of one? Range yeah. of one. Okay, I've discovered some Mego. So my infantry are good against Mego, my artillery are average. average. So I'm happy to continue. I don't run away. So round one. Ding, ding. Uh, I don't hit the Mego, it doesn't hit me. Round two. The Migo hits me for one. Uh, purple coupons. Try to sleep. Uh, take it on the infantry. I'll continue the fight. Armoured cars, no. Sanity loss. Could you take the next damage on the artillery? Yes. You could? Yes. Right. Could, could you take the next damage on the other infantry? No, no it's only over the top stack. Nothing and nothing. Oh, tension. My artillery hit the Migo for one. The Migo hits me for one. So, I place a red cube on the Migo. I'll take it on the artillery just to sort of avoid killing an infantry, yeah. but I don't have to. Because if I can kill it, they'll heal up. You can run away at any time. I can run away at any time. I could choose to run now. I don't want to yet. Uh, it continues to be away my sanity. But again, no armoured car. I'll keep fighting. My infantry finish off the Migo. That runs out. The next sanity loss would kill me, or would cause me to break. Okay, so you don't know. But it. my infantry gun down the Migo. Everyone heals up. Bust a few purple cubes down here. Which I'm put some down this end. Thank you. That's what we need out of it. You keep that as a trophy. I bring back Amigo. So it was, a t it was a tough fight against Amigo Swarm, but we have been victorious. And your sanity comes back. And all my sanity gets restored because we go back and we get really hammered in the mess. I'm going to spend one time and one gold to spend two gold to buy two infantry. And then we go again. So I have a monster nearby. It's going to wake up on its turn, or I can wake it up. And if it wakes up, it will head towards Paul, because Paul is the weakest, or Paul is the closest target. So I am now going to do my attack, and I'm going to pick on this level two monster. Okay. Which so I may regret very shortly. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Assign what you're sending first. So it's going to take me two time. Two time. Yep. And you discover it's traitors. Mm. Oh, they're quite oh, levels. Oh. So that's level. They've got oh, five so there's level. three different types of traitor in the game. Yeah, it's just um, yeah. these have a lot of hit points. They mock them there, so you can record them on here rather yes. than on there. Yes. So you put your damage on on here because if you try. Otherwise, you should move huge stacks around. Oh, okay, that is right. that is the weakest of the non-elite level uh, traitors. They're the elite ones. Yes. Right. Yeah. These are level threes. Okay. Right. Mm. Okay. So. So he has infantry and artillery. Yep. And they are loyal, they're called loyalists in this game. They're traitors loyalists. to humanity. Right. Um, but his infantry and artillery are good against loyalists. So are you going to carry on? Oh, yeah. But they do have. He's coming my points. way. I've yeah. got to kill him. That's <coughs> true. At least he can at least weaken him now. So if he does hit the base, you've got a chance of killing him. And he's also in range of your mm -hmm. airship. Also, generally, loyal, uh, loyalists 
don't inflict much sanity loss. No. Yeah, because they're, 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 they're just humans. Yeah. So, first things first, if you've got armoured trains and infantry, you'll do a damage. And they, have hit, infantry. And they hit your ground force for one. So we'll take that on the troop for now. Okay. Can Keep I going. Yep. Again, infantry do damage to the traitors, to the loyalists. They do one damage to you. Okay, I'll carry on. Oh, nice one. Infantry and artillery each do one damage. Oh, very nice. That's a good bit of pounding there. They'll damage any airships you have. Have no airship. I'm not poor. Keep going. Yep. You, you are poor. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not that poor. <laughs> and your artillery bring them down for no damage because they would hit the airships. Just... What happens if there was damage on both sides? It's simultaneous? Simultaneous, right, yeah. Okay. So if it had been a purple queue, Paul would have lost his infantry. Yeah. He'd have killed the loyalists. Now, had it stayed around and you come and done an attack, um, I wouldn't be walking home with the trophy. I would get the majority of the points. Um, but first, they're split evenly between anyone who damaged them. So right. we'd both get one each, and then I, because I'd done most damage, would get the extra one. Right. And they'd be represented by those, by those. tokens, okay. rather than by a trophy. Right. So it's, we're looking a bit healthier and a bit safer now. We've managed to drive off the major so the, elements. The, the first activation will now be up here. I mean, obviously and that could the, come um, either of our ways. Obviously, the major threat was the kangaroo. That's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you've sorted that. Oh, sorted that. Well done. So. Yes, we're safe. We're safe from we're kangaroos we're for safe now. We're from the kangaroo. Uh, it's probably it's your turn, bro. Over to me. Okay, so currently everything that I had target to is out of range. I'm really struggling to get gold. Yeah. Farms get you gold, but they're time intensive. Import Not export gold over there. Some stuff for gold. It's, yeah. it's only only a case of uh, sending forces out to pick it up. Free time. Yeah. But there's not a lot more gold in the game. Yeah, no. It's mainly earned through farms and through import export. Mm. This early stuff is just grab what you can. <coughs> Sorry. Right. But soon we'll have more worries than just gold. Mm. I'm going to spend three time. An island coal. Thank you. To build a bit of rail into this hill here and a bit of rail to that coal there. Nice. So, blue. Farm. Okay. So three time. Yep. No, no, it's how many you can. Uh, no, you, you can, the most you can build two farms. <coughs> because you, because you don't, don't have, have rails out into to, here, you can't core. build. Oh, no, it's, it's only one of each kind. Yeah, sorry, I thought. So, no, so it'll only cost you two time rather than three. Yep. So I'll and do, you I'll can do build that. one cattle farm in the hills, either location of your choice, and one if you want a sheep ranch. Out it has to go there. Yeah. You can't put a sheep farm where there's still resources. Makes sense. Get two gold. Yep. Bear in mind that's now a high risk target. It's going to kill all the monsters nearby. Yeah, fine. But it's also that, that wake up anytime soon. That, that level three is not scary. No, yeah. no, of course. All right. Green. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. So right now that's the one that's going to wake up. Yeah. So if I, so if I go there for one time, I'll just take everything back. What was it? That. Yeah. One time. Where's this going to go when it wakes up? Towards it the could go target. either. It, no, in fact, it'll have to go. In that goes, case, I'd put that there. Which and now your closest target to there. is there. Yeah. What for this one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, right. yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's range that's, two. That's two hex. Nothing else is three. So that I mean, yeah. that's also. You two. may want to only spend one time then, Paul. That's fine. They're going to come and chomp those farms we'll sooner or later. I'm going to spend one time. I'm going to take on my cubes back. Okay. Yeah. Do you all go again? Um. And if they attack my farm. They're not attacking these. No, that's right. they're, all, they're, in, they're, they're in your, they're in your port. port. They're at your base. So your farms are defenceless if you don't drive back the enemy that are attacking. That's why this card was useful. Must I take that one? I'm going to go you, there. You still have to spend time and money in order to do that's it. Right. There's another card which um, your your men on the farm have pitchforks and they do they do a couple of damage okay. as, as the farm is destroyed. It's still my go, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Yep. If you're taking lots of low, little low levels. Yeah, I just took uh, some more harvesting. Um, I shall go and spend th three times. So you now will not act again until After the monsters birth. have been. Yep. It's not a problem. It's it's really, it's no but this, this one's activating if yeah. there is one going to activate. I'm going to spend my resources to build some uh, robes. 
there and turn there. You spent three time points. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Actually, sorry, can I change that to so two time? No, I'll go there instead, I think. Okay. So I'm going to spend one time to do the import export, and I'm going to take some coal and some iron. I will spend two time to build some more railway. I will spend one time to take all my cues back. Okay. I will. That's gonna be my next action as well. Spend two time to build two farms. It's gonna be a sheep and a corn. And I'll build them here and here. Which gives me two gold. And then I'm gonna spend one time to recruit Kapina Alika. And our new one card is Boris Krupp. Your armoured train units can take four damage before they are eliminated. Wow. I'll spend one time and withdraw my cards. Mm -hmm. The last turn before. Yep, they've, yeah, we've 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 under here. they've wiped yeah. out the vanguard, they've realised there's a problem and they're starting well, no, to Well, no, it's not under there, it's... No, oh, is but, it? but once the, once the perp, once Adam's had his go, the purple cube activates and we see what's happening. Okay, and then when the purple goes to there, nothing happens. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll, they'll get move. two movement yeah. cards. The, so the illuminated is the event. Event. Every time the purple moves, monsters will move if there are any right. available. Which there are not. Currently, but this might show them. Yeah, there's currently not, but they might, that might change. I'm going to go there for one time mm -hmm. and I'm going to get that uh, one that's the armoured train. Boris is. Yeah. Boris Krupp. Boris Krupp. Uh, mad Johnson, you get a victory point for every old one that you have eliminated. He's mad. Right, so, so remind me what happens. He's on a dark space. Or does yeah, that... he now moves forward. So moved to there, and he's moved to a to a lit space. Because it's moved to a lit space, we get the we have an event, event which yeah. is yep. reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex. So our lowest numbered hex is this one. Yep. He wakes up. We get a migo. So <coughs> they now activate. And they'll activate by moving twice. Because there is one here. Because there is no yeah. Yeah. We te Technically, you, know, you flip two cards every time, but there's no point doing it if there's no monsters to actually move. There are five of each era. Yeah. And that so, will coincidentally time with... Cthulhu would move and any loyalists would move. There aren't any. Where are you seeing that? White circles White there circles, and there. Yeah. Right. And then Cthulhu would move. So, yep, nothing happens. The Mingo may be awake, but they're not currently attacking. However... They now go again. Yep. So it moves one. It's not moved to illuminate, so there's not another event. But, but it again, gets two. Move. So the Migos will move, and they will move towards the closest target in a straight line, which, which is, is either of those. So, so it's one and going clockwise. So, so it's one is straight, straight northwards. Straight. So, so now the sheep farm's the closest. If it moves again, it'll move to that sheep farm. Yeah. It can't not. This time, no Shoggoths move, so you're okay. Safe. But <coughs> if you attempt to attack that Migo, you have to fight both monsters that are there at the same time. Cool. Alright, okay. Yep. So this is protected by this. Nice if your farm is attacked, you can defend it by taking an immediate attack action. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep, so you'll mobilise your troops in, yeah, but it still costs you, costs you your time. It's all fine. Adam, it's all happening the, the other side of yeah. the continent. You're, you're fine, <laughs> you'll go. Uh, I'm fine for now. <laughs> well, these troops should have, I should have gone back harvest to base. This, uh, phosphorus. Phosphorus. So you take your gold. gold. Green moves forward. Red, that's what yellow I sort of want some more gold, so I might have to farm. But I'm going to build some rail first. So I'm going to take two time, spend coal and iron, and build two more. Um, two time, did you say? Yeah. One in there. I'm going to spend and one in there, two time as well. I'm going to go here, here, 
That's good. There's a vivid image of people on the train just waving at the Mygo as they go past. The <laughs> And on your left, you'll see a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and on your right, you'll see the uh, Hastings sheep farm. Don't right. look too closely on the right-hand side. There are a couple of okay, uh, scary one things. One time to reset. <laughs> then I'll spend one time to recruit the three gold for some armoured car. Okay. Myself again. Okay. I'll go uh, okay. there for one time and I shall sell to two gold for two gold. Yep. Two gold for two gold. Okay, so it's now the old one's turn, so it moves <coughs> to there, which is a highlighted space. space. We get the next one. Again, we which one wakes up. Reveal. And there's only a kangaroo, mate. The kangaroo wakes up. Yep. <laughs> no, we go there. Bounces away. So, someone goes there and they discover it's just a rumour. Right. Oh, Skippy. Okay, well, so we have two movements. We still have an active Mygo. So there we go. <laughs> nope. Well, he's not very active, uh, Mygo. He's active, so he reaches. So he'll move to the farm. Which well, gets destroyed. No, 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 no. He gets to use his mobilised I can defend it. No, he gets, he gets destroyed anyway. What? I can defend it? No, I'm pretty sure it only ends... It says I can only defend after it. the... Because yeah. they only destroy the farm after okay. the movement's well, completed. While you're doing that, and I'll have a quick yeah, check. Yeah, 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 show the rules. I would have thought defend it gives me a chance. Gives me a chance to, otherwise that... To actually defend it. Otherwise that card's pretty much pointless. <clears throat> What's his name? Kapina Alika. I think it will come under uh, monster movement. If the old ones move onto one of your farms, they cease moving. After yep. all remaining movement has been resolved, you can perform an attack action to send units to the hex before the farm is blighted. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yeah, it makes sense that, yeah, you... It makes sense. That's, that's, that's yeah. the defend. Yeah. Right, so, we interrupt this game to bring you an attack action, which I have to... Yep, you still do all normal rules. Which all normal rules. Spending one time to move them in. Oh, sorry. One, one cube, and if you have to spend gold, you need to spend gold. And I... Do a time out of turn, out of, yeah. out of sequence. Yeah, if you're sending an infantry and airships. I may as well. Yep, which costs you one time, so yeah. you're fine. Done that. So you rush your force in there, and the fight now begins. So again, like normal fights, you can choose to withdraw if things go wrong. Mm -hmm. The fight begins. So infantry will hit the Migo, and you take one sanity loss. And Juliet hits it for another one. Okay, artillery will hit the Migo. The Migo will hit you ground forces for one. Keep going. Yeah. <coughs> Armoured cars will hit the Migo. The Migo inflict one damage on your ground forces. No. So that kills that infantryman. Ooh. Okay. Do you wish to keep going? Uh, yeah. Armoured cars will hit the Migo. The Migo hit your ground forces. Mm. You may at this point choose to withdraw either your ground forces and or your airships. So you can pull out the infantry, but keep fighting with the airships. So airships against Migos? Average. Whereas infantry is supposed to be good? Yep. Mm -hmm. well, it seems to be very good. But you've taken a bit of 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 a bit Because this has got three damage on the airships, but nothing seems to hit the airships. It's just, it's just random. It's, it's random. So yeah, okay. Yeah. There's been a number no, of no, cars carry previously. Carry on. You're going to keep them in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, armoured cars at the Migo. Migo do one sanity loss. Here you go. Armoured trains will hit the Migo, the Migo will do one sanity loss. <laughs> right, if you take another sanity loss, the infantry are killed in the retreat, but the airships won't be. Yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, there's no point not to stop, really. Uh, well, I don't... You know, pulling back the infantry would make sense. Keep fighting, fighting with the airship. Yeah, the, the airships air are average. Mm. Oh, but then they're just going to stick around for ages. Yes, and, and the, the Migo doesn't hit the airship. So, I'll withdraw them. Yeah, and the, they lose the damage. Yep, but then I'm out of the fight. Yeah, the next card's going to be in the infantry now. Yeah. Neither. Your airship gets hit for one. <laughs> Not every good So one. again... But it's got, it's got three. It's got but three. if he gets sanity lost, it's destroyed. If another one's sanity lost, your, inf your army breaks. And if you've taken damage, the damage units are destroyed during the retreat. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Your airship hits Domingo and kills it. Yay! 
They would do damage to your ground forces, but there aren't any. Yay. So you just about successful. Have a new trophy. Just. <laughs> so damage heals. Yeah, damage heals, sanity right. comes back. Yeah. Wow. It's close. Yeah, pull your airship back because it's yeah. no longer part of the expedition force. So that interrupted that action. Yeah. Okay, the Migo didn't move the first, so it stops. It then goes on to. There, the purple goes again. There's no monsters, so no cards are drawn. No cards get drawn. Yeah. Right. Okay. And it goes over to green. Oh, okay. Mm. 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 The problem is, this is the one that's going to wake up next, and that's going to come for me as well. Yep. Unless I go and hit it first. Mm. Now, why would I want to do that? Uh, I'll give you a jam cake. Tasty victory points. <laughs> yeah, tasty victory points. VP, VP's matter Because that, that is... You know, although, although Jaffa Cakes is a suitable currency yeah. as well. I did get two VP out of that. Yeah. To wake up, it's out there. Okay. Do you want me to pass me the rule book, Rob? Yeah, sure. Okay. I to check that solo campaign, that red number. But you say, if you've read the rules and you haven't seen any reference to that red number. But, but I haven't uh, read the solo part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's probably what it is. I'm going to build a farm, I think. So it cost me. Was it hex number 14? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not surveyed in a solo game. Not surveyed. So that means it, the triangle. <coughs> that is oh, you don't draw yeah. a set of tile for yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. right? Okay, thank you. It's um, nice that it's got that little visual reminder. I'm just going to build one. No, okay, go. Red. 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 We'll spend one guy here. One and guy. I'll take uh, Mr. Marino. I oh, love Mr. Marino. I then want Ferdy Cassan. I'll place a cattle farm and a sheep. Okay. So replaced by the long range outback group, which inflicts two damage on any face up old one. So it's a one shot that immediately does two damage to something. So when it says the word the word old one here, that's one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Which could be a zombie. Yeah. So a zombie so old one is a collective term for yeah. the, yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 the old one necessarily an old one. the Cthulhu himself. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yellow. Mm. I'm going to pick that one up. Yep, and then she'll go again. Harry Bones, when you mine, you get an extra resource. Yes, he's, he's great early on, but yeah. a bit poor now. I've got nothing to mine. <clears throat> um, I still have. So it may be useful. So I need some gold to allow me to build some more infantry and other troops. So I'm going to place farms, and I'm going to spend three time to place three farms. Wow. Well. Yeah, one, one of each different kind. Yeah. That's three gold That's for three you. Gold. Red. Red will... Very that was a bit risky, but... You will just mine all that coal up. <laughs> was that one time? One time. Okay, I shall go to buy some more things for one time, and I will spend four to buy an armor train. Okay, so one of the armor trains is out, which for you is four hit points, isn't it? It is. Nice. I so, yeah, for a defensive force, he can soak <coughs> a lot. Of, yeah, right. soak three damage. Yes, I'm going to decide. I need it. So it's it's them, and it's yep. moving on to a highlighted space. So yeah, we get a new one, and another old one wakes oh, up. Oh, so that's wakes this up. one. Okay, it's a temple. So temples are static, they won't move, but, but, lo but later level event cards will cause them to spawn high level monsters. Right. And those, the lowest number one I've seen of that is a second level one, uh, an era two one, okay. which, which brings forth a level okay. three. So no card stay. is drawn. No card is drawn because they can't move. And there's me. Yep. Huzzah, right. Uh, I'm spending one time to mine. Um, I'll take this gold. Okay. 
You were hinful. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll recruit for one time, and I will spend four gold to buy an armoured car. That makes sense, because the armoured car is on my network. Armoured train. And, on the train, train and they're yeah. coming to me, yeah. and because of this, I can defend myself yeah. with that. Okay. What's the zero? Can't they can't move outside of it? Oh, that's their attack. That's but they that's can still do damage. Yeah, they still oh, fight. Armored cars can still fight. Yeah, yeah. armored trains. Yeah, aren't yeah. oh, yeah. so yeah. they're, they're no good without that tracks. Is purely their radius of attack, which yep. is your network only. Okay, got it. Purple, purple activates, but because there's nothing to move, it doesn't move. Green. Mm-hmm. I might try to attack something within the range. I say, so I'm going to try and attack. Send them and that. Okay, so that costs you two time. Two time. Mm-hmm. Time for green. Yep. Where are you attacking? <coughs> Where's the spike thing? There we go. I'm going to try that one. Yep, cool, cool. So put the face up and you run into. Amiga. Amigo, do you wish to maintain the fight? It's only got um, Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's only got two hit points. Can't run away from it. It'll come your way anyway. So, infantry do one damage. It would hit your airship. And then you've got Sing. Lieutenant Sing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Activate him and you kill him. Oh, wow. There we go. Fight's over. So, refresh Lieutenant Sing. Bring your troops back home. He's busy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Take them back. Yep, that's it. I don't know when you talk about this elder thing. (laughs) Ancient ones here. I'm going to spend those two. Worrying bit is there's no trap going that way where all the big red ones are. Yeah. To build myself two more sections of trap. Sorry, Paul's got it. He's going to activate them and send them your way. I'm going to put a sign here saying. uh, yeah, free ice cream. This, so this I, I, I brought a track up through that way, so we're not caught on the same hex side, so we're fine. We're fine. But only one of us could build a farm there if you want to fill up. If you, if you want to build a sheep farm in the middle of you know, death, you know, death, death Valley. Yeah. You know, death Violation Valley, you know, right next door to the impending Cthulhu Doom. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Though, don't put it past the. That's two time. Don't put it past the. Um, so is there? Incredible stupidity of Event. the Reveal the lo- old one in the lowest numbered hex. Okay. So now this one wakes up. No, because we've got a couple of temple spawning points there. Okay. Me? Yes. I'm going to mine. What else is good against temples? I've uh, got artillery and infantry, uh, airships are average, armoured cars and armoured trains won't touch them. Okay. So I've got the right forces. Take some coal. And it's me again. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sell two of that coal to get two gold. Okay. Purple. Nothing, Nothing moves. Red. Time for me to send out a strike force, I think. So How many time? I'm going to send, spend two time to mobilise my entire force yep. because of my discount. And we mobilise two here. Whoa. Right, I'm going to try and blow this temple to smithereens. So my armoured car won't do much here, but it can soak some hits if I get any sort of attack back. You mean when you get some sort of attack back? Yeah. Where's the dobber? There's the dobber. Oh, dobber. They have now been officially dobbed. So, typical. My airships would do two damage, uh, which I don't have. The temple hits me for one, and take on the armoured car. I lose one sanity. How does the temple attack? It's, it, it throws the priest, rocks at the priest, the priest we're defending it. <laughs> it's not unmanned. It's just mystical, it just... Nothing. Arcane energies. So my infantry hit it for one. It's not like it's a giant transformer yeah. then and just gets to grow his arms and legs. Uh, sanity starts to give out. No, because then it would walk too. too. Oh, my okay. infantry hit it for one. Come on, let's keep up there. Keep up the pressure. Oh, you lose the sanity. No, I don't. That was that one. Oh, sorry. It does one damage to me, which will be my infantry. Oh, sorry. Thank you. It does. Oh, oh, that's a risk now. Because um, <coughs> if I take another sanity loss, they're both destroyed in the retreat. Mm. How brave are you? <laughs> no, he, he doesn't need to kill that immediately. No. Yeah. I can, I can 
Paul so it could be sensible and withdraw and plan and another then, day. Then I could send it in, knowing the armoured cars can't hurt it, I'll just send in the infantry and artillery next time. I'll but pull they back can't and, hurt it at all. Yeah, they not can't applicable. Not applicable. So I'll pull back, so the damage gets undone, my sanity comes back, my damage stays on there. Yeah. So if someone else comes in and kills it, I'll still get um, a, a, portion share, of a share of the VPs. Okay. It's got seven life. If that Adam went and knocked the other five off, you'd share the VP equally. I don't think I would be able to. Yeah. Right. But though, interesting enough, if I sent in an armoured car, could I still use that? Yes. Okay. Because yeah. the thing's Sing, a genius. You know, he works out where they hit the temple with his light and with right. his light guns. Um, I think first I shall um, spend one time to reclaim everything. Okay, so yeah. green moves one. And yellow. to attack for two times. Two times. And I'm going to attack this one. Uh, uh, about the same price. So this one's easier. Yep, yeah, one by one point. But it's also close to the Paul's lines, so that's a good thing or a bad thing. Pick one yeah, I'm protecting myself. Paul spent two. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Infantry, I've got infantry and artillery. <laughs> so first things first, war. Damn it. Okay, so that's two damage to artillery, that's one I would have got, but one damage to you. And then just one damage to you. And then one damage from your infantry, one sanity loss. And then one damage from your infantry. Oh. Get in there. Now I could at this point just use this card. Could, yeah. I'm not going to. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's going to get me a share of points on, on a juicier target. Yeah. Uh, one damage to your ground forces. Okay. Somebody dies. Yeah. yeah. One damage to your ground forces. And I will withdraw. Okay. Yeah, at that point you're starting to run mm -hmm. at a higher level of risks. Green. Yes. Green. But you, of course, can now go and finish that off. I could. My airships are average against temples, but my airships have three health, so... Yeah. And you've got an auto hit. I'm going to go That's there. That's a very good choice. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to sneak and get into... Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Uh, did I move you one? Uh, There's I two. There's two. That two. Yeah. So yeah. no, you didn't. So. Two. Two. Did I, did I not move it at all then? No, I think so. So it's there. So it moves on to a highlighted space. So we're still yeah. on level this one. This is the last level one events. Assassinations remove the two rightmost personality cards. So they, they, get, are. they get deaded. But we get two new ones. We yeah. get two new ones. Yeah. And our new cards are General Takanashi, eliminate one military unit to inflict two damage. They can make Mm-hmm. And Ivan Karpov, if your port is attacked, inflict two dim damage at the start of combat on each he, attacker. He lays minefields. So oh, okay. They run into minefields when you attack your port. Okay. Mm. Me? Yes. I want to build track, but I haven't got any iron. Mm -hmm. The only way to get iron is this Import, um, export, card yeah. that tells you... Take iron. That. Yeah, there is no more iron on the board. <coughs> so instead, I'm going to do that and spend two time to build two farms. Which gets me two gold. Nice. Okay. So it's them. Yep. Because they've only got temples now, would you move houses? Yep. Yellow. 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 I am going to recruit. And I'm going to recruit A lot of hit points, but, but I don't defensive. think much is coming my way, so I'm going to buy. Infantry. How many trains yeah. can you have? You can have as many as you like, as many units, as much as there are available. The issue is they're very expensive and limited in terms of mobility. And that cost me two gold. Okay. Red. Yep. Red will go to export and sell two coal for two gold. 
Shall we go again? Okay. Red will build a sheep farm for a gold. For one time. For one time. Yep. Yeah. I will spend a gold and go into the attack again. For how many times? No. I want to finish that one off. For two time? Artillery yeah. and infantry? Yeah. Okay. Infantry do one damage. It does one damage to you. Infantry destroy it. Huzzah! I have three points. Temple has fallen. Okay, purple activates the next event. So it's now level two, so it could be a higher risk at this point. Reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex. 25. And no, draw. 22. 22. And oh, draw six cards for its movement. What? Wow. Yeah, I did warn you that some of them will cause them to move. Flip it. <coughs> Zombies. So. It's heading your way. I'm fine. So, zombies don't move. Zombies don't move. Zombies move. They'll target the one in number two, which is going this one. clockwise. Oh. So oh. they'll go for that one. Yeah. So they eat that farm. No, they don't no, want that. Oh, good. So, yeah, you get to do your thing. So I'm going to put that there, which costs me gold. Yep, pay the time. Oh, sorry, send up your strike force and then pay the time. Yep, because that's only one, one time. time. Okay. Begin the fight. And let the zombie have it. Yeah, I've got this. Okay. Infantry does one damage to the zombie. And then use that as dead. Cool, cool. Yep. That's quite a nasty one early on. Especially if you well, pull something big. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't big. too nasty because you got the fucking... You got the yeah. pansy weak one. No, but a, but a shock off. Yeah, a shock, yeah, a shock off makes... would have eaten his way through his entire room and would have laughed his straight away. But it was not to be. Three. Um, me, what can I do? Mm. Don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm going to have to take that. Flip it all. And one time, please. Me too again. Me again. Mm. This is more concerning. Um. Is there anyone good out there? Um, Four coal uh, plus one VP for every eliminated old one. When you mine, take an extra resource. That's pretty much useless. Eliminate one military unit to inflict two damage. Or lay, the mine lay mines at your port. I think I might just go and sell. I think we may push the fight far enough away from us now. For one. I'm also going to. Import, so that costs me a cube and a gold, and I take two iron. I am going to use. Oh, yep, yep. Then. Oh, yeah, There's nothing to move. move. Okay, red. Red. Red will hit the reset for one time. And then here we go. Yep, and then red is going to recruit an airship for four gold. And then it's them. Another event. No, no event. event. We got lucky. Oh. And nothing to move. Yep. And then it's me. Oh, I like that the, the, the no event is a picture of a kangaroo. Yep. Well, no, no, no kangaroo it just is, is just is the, just is the no event. Yeah. So large herd of kangaroos. The locals have been scared of it. They've been talking yeah. about it. So it's not Skippy. Many yeah, Skippies. Many Skippies. Oh, you clearly, you clearly see the After Dark episodes I saw. You know. Two times. Skippy goes crazy with his drill and sex. It was horrific. <laughs> so, Australian video and nasties. There. And... What's so that building skip? into that is useful if I want no, to No, you can't, you can't build into it. You can't build into it. No. What's that, Skippy? Oh, because I can't Oh, no, Skippy, yeah, please. Good. No, I'm sorry. What's that, Skip? Cthulhu's in the well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that costs that and that. Um, What's that? Skip your mind's being devoured from inside by the another <laughs> one of the galaxy. Oh, mate. Um, <coughs> okay. So I can have a go at fighting the temple, but I've got nothing really that does anything good against it. You've got your armoured cars. So your armoured train can't get there. 
Your infantry... And that can. Yeah, but only your infantry will be the damage. It's <coughs> the only car could soak a hit. But that he, but that he can... And do one damage, yeah. Um, hmm, it's worth it. Or you've always got access to see what that is. It could be lighter. You've got access to that <coughs> one as well. Or we could... Uh, that's no, just no, out of range. No, no. I'm, I'm not going for that, for that three one. No, 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 no. And activating that one might then mean he goes as much as Paul, which would be hilarious. <laughs> Because eventually, eventually he'll run out of gold to be able to keep activating his armor. <coughs> I shall have a fight, then I shall try to have a go to the third temple. That's not the fight. That's not the fight space. Mm, yep, so yeah, that's yes. the fight space. Send in your troops. So one time. Two times. Two times. Two times. <laughs> so. Okay. Off we go. Yep. And temple does one sanity damage to you. Okay. Can I, can I seem to inflict one damage? Yep. Uh, airships do two. It does one damage to your ground forces. Mm-hmm. Infantry hit it for one, you're s- and it, you take one sanity loss. Artillery would do two, it does one damage to your ground forces. Airships would do two, it does one damage to your ground forces, and you take one sanity loss. Mm. Not doing well. I think I might run, run away at this one. I don't know, no, 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 you, you're still taking the hit. I was still taking the hit, oh, yeah. right, okay. So he dies, you break and run, but you'll get two of the VPs if, if we not kill that, so. Well, unless the third person comes in. In which case we each get one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no, it depends who gets the three hits. Yellow. Yellow. Um, I'm going to spend one time to withdraw. Yeah. And then here we go. Mm. I'm going to spend one time to buy a card, and I shall have Matt Johnson. Placed by Tex Maguire, plus one victory point for every cattle farm. Mm. Yeah, walking cliche that is. Right, purple, nothing happens because there's nothing active. Rob will activate an attack, sending in infantry and artillery for a cost of one, backed up by an airship, to go and try and finish that temple off. My infantry do one to it. That'll help. Nothing. My infantry do one to it and I take a sanity loss. And left. My artillery level it from a distance. So, it's dead. I don't get that. Instead, (coughs) stick it over there and I get, we each get two VPs. Two VPs for you. Thank you. Two VPs for you. Right. If it was 5 VP, <coughs> Rob would be 2 and 3. Right. Two and three. Right. Okay. Two I more. presume Matt Johnson is only the ones I've eliminated actual, actual so Actual tokens, yeah. yeah. Trophies. Yeah. Otherwise, it's dashed on sporting. Yeah. Yeah. Back up, sir. Right. Um, everyone falls back to base for a bit of the old cheer and the drink. Uh, I think, since there's no, clearly another target within my strike range, uh, I'm going to spend 1 gold to attack again. And I'm going to attack here for two time sending in my entire force because my discount of one and it's zombies oh it says zombies it's zombies are temple zombies are there and it says xx oh, that oh that's be. that's probably um yeah. these, so these boys animals. here yeah um oh, so it shouldn't be that no oh, okay. i think it just means we use a there we are. Double X, oh, no, X, 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 X. I thought some of these had double X on them. Huh. What does that mean? It's two. So low. I think it might mean there's two zombies. One second. Can I check the rules? Yeah. That one hasn't come up before. I think it's so. <coughs> I don't think it is. I think it's just a combination of the two. Okay. Let's we'll see what it says. Meanwhile, does anybody want any other facts about traffic lights? <laughs> <laughs> Well, checks the rules. Yes, how many, how much electric do they waste in the UK by keeping traffic lights on when there is absolutely no need for them? <laughs> yeah, Environmental you... damage by your yeah. town planners. Yeah, but how it's... do you know when you do and don't need traffic lights on? Because there's no traffic around at 11 o'clock at night when I go back from um, club to home 
and there are loads of traffic lights on roundabouts where you have absolutely yeah. no need for oh, yeah, last one, yeah, They should have, have heard, you think they've got like a sensor on top? Yeah, they, they have on some roundabouts, but they insist on putting others with, with, with uh, yeah. powered traffic lights powered traffic. at night. So you're wasting electricity powering them, you're wasting uh, fuel from the vehicles having to stop and start. I mean, they're just a waste, a complete waste. Synod. So it's a spawning temple tile, so you're very impatient. Not that I have a bee in my bonnet about that at all. So now I think that we should look up, um, why do I have to sit at the traffic lights when there's no one else coming at the roundabout? I just sit there for ages, and yeah. now I'm down there, and then you have to not come and go. Well, in America, you can, um, uh, in a lot of places, you can turn right on red. Yeah. If it's flashing. Unless it says, no right turn on red. Yeah. Otherwise you can. Yeah. And the first time I went to America, I was like, that's crazy, that, that's never going to work. And, um, it does. And, it, and it does. And I was sat there and I was like, it's on red. Can I go? And I was like, of course I can go. It's, it's, it's safe, safe to do so. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's safe to do so. There's no one coming in traffic. Yeah. It just keeps the flow of the traffic going. Yeah, it's, a, oh, it is, it isn't a, it's a variant version of the game. So, so don't wanna... So should we, yeah. so we so replace that, that with another... Or is it with something else? Another green one? We'll have a loyalist. 3-6. But it's interesting that we have quite a few variants. Yes, the there's, 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 yes, there are a lot of options. Yeah. Effectively, it, it would mass spawn zombies that get spread across the area, or mass spawn Migos that get spread across cool. the area. Okay. Right. Well, I ain't backing down from no stinking loyalist. Not, not with the entire might of the forces of Rob at my command. And I wish I hadn't said that out loud now, because I'm <laughs> a bit over the table. Ah, oh, hubris. Yeah. <laughs> The army, nothing on this earth or beyond could possibly stop or even slow down. I may attend a tentacle to devour my brain if, I, yeah. if I'm wrong. Right. We'll be all wrong. Um, <coughs> sorry, so I've got my brain just gets fried and nothing else. Mm. Right, no, no, sorry, it's no. Sorry. You've got extra range, have you? Huh? You can't get that. Oh, sorry, I'm off on the one. Is it cheating? So so for all that, I thought I'd put out that way. I do apologise. No, let's go back. So that did ever happen. Yeah, that's undo, cool. undo, undo, undo. So that's two time. Yeah. yeah. So could you have got there with your people to the temple then? The temple that was there, yeah. The temple, my, my, yeah, the temple my, my was tracks are here. Yeah, yeah. I, just that, thought, I, just, I just thought I'd built out. <clears throat> no problem. Swap it for a different one. Yep. Yeah. We'll randomise it again. Okay. Oh, well, now I feel a little shuffle. Actually, I'll look so through I take for any that more back X's. as well and yeah. I get my gold back. So anything with an X on or an X It's just that there's only two of them. So there should only be two of them anyway. Right. Could be up and board them and revealed yet. I'll try and shuffle without revealing them. Okay. That's instead. Go. I don't want to know what's in there. No, right, it's not going to be my go for a while, so I'm just going to go and replenish my water. I'll be back. Hey, I'm in here. Can you get past? I think it's sweet three, yeah? Oh, wow. Hmm. So I never leave it's because it's the network's got mixed up, that's why. There's also a variable where you can use other people's networks to launch attacks. Launch attacks, yeah. Which is a, a full co-op game. Yeah, you do that in two-player mode. Yeah. Mm. I have read that bit. Right. Um, what to do? So I was on top of the stack, wasn't I? Because I... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did that to the airship, and then... Uh, so I attacked once to, f once to finish off the temple, which I did one point with by using those three. Um, so I could send the armoured cars and the airships, but I don't want to sort of leave them without anyone to back them up. So... I think... Spending the gold, but spending the extra time, do the same build. The question is, what's cheaper at this point? Whether ah. what are our options for people at the moment? I don't know they're all they're all pretty <coughs> nav, so I, I remember them now. They're all pretty nav. Um, the next one's going to be good. <laughs> 
thought, listen, after the situation, we probably pushed away from our camps and we've already exported most of the minimal resource, yeah. research, resources. Because uh, I don't want to use my gold. That's a nice less time. I can always gather more gold. Can I gather more gold? Uh, yeah, I'm spending a gold, coal, and iron in two time. Put two more railways, so I'll put that way to get to those level threes. And I'll build down here for more access to corn farming. Nice. Okay. Purple. Purple and event. So we get an event? Yep. And our event is draw and place a level three old one tile face up on each revealed temple. God, we got that one killed. Because it's a high level shogoth. Now, Paul doesn't want to see that at all, does he? Paul's about to get shoggothed in the face. Uh, Two cards for movement. Should we, uh, should we wait until he comes back so no, we can we'll, see? We'll let, we'll let him know once he's reached one of his farms. <laughs> Shoggoth doesn't move, and Shoggoth doesn't move, so he's okay. He dodged that bullet. But now you've put a Shoggoth out. Yep, and yeah. that's, that's one of the high level ones which we've got this for, so mm. depending on how the fight goes, you might put tokens on there to avoid being on. Mm. Right. Uh, yellow. Mm. That puts a different complexion on what I was thinking about. Unfortunately, yeah, they are. Oh, your expeditionary force should be back to base by now and healed up. Yes, they should. You can go and fight that shoggle if you like. Got some good news for you, Paul. Is it me? Yeah, you're being shoggled in the face. What? That, you know that temple that you've been ignoring? It just, it, it, yeah, it, just, it just spawned <laughs> a shoggle. All over, yeah. He was trying to avoid this one. Right, so what's happened? That card. Uh, what? Okay, I did warn you. <sighs> Repeatedly. I'd got rid of the other one, thankfully. Yeah. Right, so, so, a, so a level three monster. Has, has it hasn't moved. You look good. Probably, you know, both but we don't really want to attack it there. Both movement Why? cards. Because you have to attack both the temple and the shot off. So it spawned out the top of the temple. Yeah, so we, I kind of want it to move. Yeah, we should, <laughs> to well, I want it, it to move. <laughs> but it's now... It's yeah, so, it's, so it's, it it's, didn't it, move. It, it didn't move. You got lucky that it didn't move and eat your farms. Yeah, because your, your light strike force might have a bit more problem with that. So, Shoggoths. I need... Inf infantry and... Airships. Yep, so airships are good, as are artillery and trains. So your airship will be okay, your infantry might be in trouble. Well, they, I have a train. And a train, yeah. I have an armor train. So I'm going to so spend to attack me. Mm. two time. Bring it. Bring the two Bring time some shop. coal and some iron to build some more track. Well. And that's cost you two? Yep. Green. Oh no. Oh no, my face. It's getting mauled. How much are the artillery? Five. Five, and the airships are four. Four, yeah. Um, okay. I may go and build. Your armoured. It is in range of your armoured car, but obviously you'd have to fight both. I'm going to build a farm. Um, so, this going back to, going back to agriculture. Um, agriculture. Shoot farm. Okay, go. So I want to build a farm, ideally. <coughs> but I want to build a farm again. Yeah. You, know you can build a corn farm as well for some gold. Oh, uh, you could, couldn't I? Yeah. Okay, okay, so you were spending one, one time for one second. That's fine. I know, I did. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Done that already. Okay. Right, so this could be a key move. I think possibly recruiting more troops to absorb more damage. Maybe a thing. Might be a good thing to do. So yeah, let's do that. So let's recruit for one time. I'll spend two gold to have two more infantry. Yep. Thank you. Oh good, our new platoons. Don't need your last platoons. Oh, 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 oh that was poor. Was poor I mean, the important thing is we need more we need new platoons. Yes, that's the point. They've uh, moved to the front line. <coughs> You'll never see them. Can you move me forward one on the track, please? I'm going to buy an airship. Oh, the last airship's been deployed. Yeah. So it's there? Yep. So we draw two cards for the Shoggoth movement. Shoggoth 
moves. Yeah. So he will move direction two. Direction two is this way. Yes. So he goes that far. Right. So, Paul, do you wish to mobilise your men? Uh, yes. Attack! Okay, what are you so sending in? Those, yep. for one time. And obviously, those and those. But you're free. Right. Why not? So you've got an armour train, an airship, and tons of it, tons, tons of infantry. Yep, right. Someone's got to take okay. the damage. Combat the one. An armour train will do one damage to the Shrogoth. An armour train will do one damage to, to the Shrogoth. The Shrogoth will do one damage to an airship. And no purple. Yep. And you can now activate your lady. Come on, Juliet. Do another damage. So, you're getting a bit of a pounding, but it's flailing at the airships. Next one. Airships do one damage to the Shrogoth. Shrogoth does one sanity damage to your strike force. Nothing. Artillery do no damage. Uh, so, no artillery. Shrogoth does one damage to your airship. Oh, which dies. No, no, oh no, he's got three life, life, hasn't he? Yeah. But I can you know, withdraw the airship. You can now yeah. withdraw the airship without withdrawing your infantry. And airships are average. Yeah, no, 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 I'm going to withdraw it. Yeah, before it gets blown out. So the damage can come yeah, back. He was automatically. Next round. Airships would have done one damage, but it does one da sanity damage to your strike force. Armoured trains do two damage to the Shogoth. Get in! Ooh, that. You, I think you rammed it. Uh, it does one damage to your ground forces. And one sanity loss. Right, so remind me, what happens if I take another sanity loss now? You, you, lose yeah, yeah, you, you lose the fight, your army withdraws. Any damage to are destroyed, destroyed. Which, means, which means you'll lose your train. There you go. Yeah. Do you wish to carry on the fight? If I don't, the farm goes. Yeah. And it will break your, your chain. chains. You can't go beyond that. But I'll just attack it, it back and yeah. probably kill it next turn. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just, just got it's just lose the farm, time. which is too... Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, keep fighting. Yeah, because yeah, right now, what happens is you lose an infantry. Yeah. So, yeah, it breaks you. It does one more sanity loss, which now means your army. But I don't do anything yeah. to it. No, it does nothing to it. Okay, so, the, so that dies. anyone damaged now dies, and your forces retreat, and everyone you have falls back to base. Okay. The farm and gets destroyed. Stick the five cubes on that one, and that stays there. Yeah, that stays there. That was the first move, wasn't it? Yeah. That was, yeah. Yep. Oh, it goes again? Yeah, they, 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 <coughs> moved, they moved twice. So your second move is Shoggoth's move again. Ooh. Direction two going clockwise. So it's going up here. Yep, so again, Paul, you have the option to mobilise yep. your force. So mobilise the force. Have you got gold? Spend gold. That's the yep. last of his gold. So. So does that cost you time again? Yep, so you have to pay the time again. One time. That's yeah. That's that's the drawback of that card is you're having to pay. Well, yeah, without I mean, you are having seven points. You are protecting your uh, homestead, aren't you? Okay, so yeah, it's, it's going long, as long as you do one damage to it, you, yeah. you actually can kill it. So your artillery, nothing. No, do a damage to it. Yep, it does one sanity loss to you. Yeah, it has. It does one sanity loss to yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> Your train kills yes. it. Yes. Boom. That's, yeah, that's a that's a major point there. So. Damn, I was hoping to come and sneak some points in major seven points. points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this can be rebuilt. Well, well, there is a that there is one three character three. That, <laughs> that can rebuild destroyed okay. farms. So you'll see if she comes out. Wow, that's the new yeah. pick. Yeah, very nice. nice. So we drove them off. Purple's then going but, again. But that temple's still there. Yep, purple goes again. Activates the next event. Another group. <laughs> Another monster comes out. Reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex. 25. Yeah. We have uh, a zombie. Zombie, okay, relatively easy to kill. Its closest target is equidistant between blue and green and red. Yep, we're all two spaces away from it. Three. 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 Yeah, Three. Yeah, there's, there's two gaps, yeah. The zombies don't move. Zombies don't move, so it's just standing there. If it did move, would it move just one? Yeah, so, yeah, so, so it wouldn't have got to us yeah, anyway. It wouldn't have got to right. us. It's just, it's just which direction is it going to walk in? Okay. Whose attack radius will it be brought into? Gotcha. Green. So I could try and attack it, couldn't I? Yep. Yeah, they've simplified this from the prototype version that I was first playing. Uh, but I haven't got any gold. So. This direction map is a lot easier than what you had yeah. to do. Yeah, it's nice, wasn't it? Because as soon as it locks, as as it locks into a target, it's it's, it's heading clockwise yeah. or oh, anti-clockwise. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So it's an, it's a, an initial initial direction followed by either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Where before it was looking at the direction. Right, green goes forward one. 
Hmm? Green goes forward one. Yellow. Now I was going to get some money to go and buy something by playing farms, but I wanted an airship. So I am going to go and attack the zombie. Yep, you've got access to it. How many time? Two. Two. You're attacking here because it's range one. Yeah. So it's horde of zombies. Uh, airships would do one. You've got infantry, infantry and artillery, haven't you? Yeah. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, no. No, it's an armoured car. But and, uh, that's, no, that's loyalist. That's loyalist. That's loyalist. Yeah. yeah, I always make the mistake of reading the like Two damage to it. One from your artillery, one from your infantry. One damage to it from your infantry. One damage to it from your infantry. Yeah. It's dead. Very nice. Some more points. More points. More points. Plus one. Yep. Red. Red will yep. spend one time to mine this coal. Moving on one place. And then one time to export two coal. For two gold. gold. Mm. Oh, Not really that short. Mm. Something worth smacking over there. Yeah, I've got access to that. I have, yeah. I don't need to import an export to get near those big red ones. I could try and take that, can I? Yeah, but it's in range. Yeah, it's okay. Why not? I've only got one, one little man there, so. How much time? Uh, two. two. It is. That's oh, Amiga. Okay. Amiga. So, <coughs> airships do one damage to it. Yeah. Armoured cars do one damage to it. It does one damage to your airship. So, do you want to withdraw your airship? No. Uh, artillery, no. Migo does one damage to your ground forces. So, hey, mate, so would that? If it gets, if, not, if it's airship again, their airship. If it airships and moves up again, the airship's destroyed. Okay, so I can withdraw then. Yep. That's right. Yeah, take the damage off it. Migo does nothing. Armour car does one damage to the Migo. Okay, I'll try Migo. That. Yep, that kills it. Splat. One dead bug. Poiple. Moves. Nothing to move. Nothing to move. It's all dead. Poiple again. Yep, activates. Last level two. Assassination. Remove oh, the two oh. rightmost cards. Mm. Doesn't the, really matter the, that much, does it? The, the coal no. miners' guilds getting angry. So you just get two new ones. It's just it's, it's just a case where it might kill one you like. Bombardier and Milligan. If you have artillery present in combat, inflict a damage automatically. And mm -hmm. Billy okay. Kneebone. Increase off-rail range of all of your units by one, except for armoured rail. Oh, right, that's brilliant for both of mine. So, your uh, your uh, strike force should have come back. Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my boy should be back. Mine. Yep. It's easy to forget. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. So my action, first action will be to take um, Bombardier. Because <coughs> I want that. Yeah, I've yeah, before I have artillery replaced by armor. Alexander Prost. Your armored car units can take three damage before. Oh, very nice. Mm. I'm going to spend one and a gold to increase my range by taking Billy knee bones. Yep. Very nice. Uh, Alanza Castro, and that's that one ever old one. Paul, switch the positions around. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. One time for the uh, yellow player. You got to move yourself on. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, what does she do? Beat him up. Uh, whenever an old one attacks one of your farms, it suffers two damage. Oh, cool. So some sort of skirmishing unit. I'm going to spend. One I think it should be pitchforks, but it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but, it, but it's. Uh, take that. Which also gets me gold. Very nice. Yeah. And it's back to you again, Paul. Yep. 
to me. The other pool. The other pool. I might have to put some farms down. Because mm. not having money is not reassuring. Yellow jobs forward, how many farms are you putting down? Three. Yellow jobs forward three times. But it's cash and it's VPs, so it's always yeah. worth it. Um, yeah, I'm right next to that temple. <laughs> you know it's got to be. Well, so I get three nice. gold. Cool, cool. That'll, That'll be really good. Put a tax for a while. Or oh, buy more cards. Red will. I don't know why it doesn't let the train travel off track though. Um, mm -hmm. two I don't time, know why it doesn't please. let the train travel off track. Yeah. So I'll move Red Forge 2, please. Okay, we're mm -hmm. mobilising a full strike force to target this guy here. Is it's amigo. Funny enough, yes, my forces are engaging. So my yeah, armored car, hits, yep, my armored car hits it for one. My airship gets hit for one, so I withdraw my airship, and then bombardier gives it another smack. Round two. <sighs> airship doesn't do any damage. It does one damage to me. Don't present yet. Nothing. Damn it. Airship would have done damage. If she does one damage to it, it damages my airship. Which isn't there. Yep. Armour train, no. Sanity loss. If she does one damage to it, it would damage my airship. Armoured cars bring it down. Mm. Five. It's dead. Scratch one, me go. Mm. Get a nice little collection of Mego over here. No. The boys heal up and everyone comes home. It moves into nothing because there's nothing to move. Yep. Oh, green. 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 Um, I think I want to. Don't know what I'm doing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Spend a of money. Mm. Okay, no one coming. Well, the last two new ones that. Uh, whenever an old one attacks one of your farms, it suffers two damage. And it your destroys armor, your farm. Yeah, yeah your armoured car units uh, take three damage before they're eliminated. I shall take that And our new person is Luigi Caprotti, yep. who removes one damage cube from one of your units. Field, field engineer. He's a good one. Mm -hmm. Or field mechanic. Um, He's basically just a plus one hit point to the strike yeah. force, rather than specific units within. And I will go for move for three, please. Three uh, times? No, actually, actually I can't because I haven't got any stuff to do with. Um, I should put those some farms. Move me forward to two, please. Two? Put one there. And one there. Okay, so further, further away. So it's our first level three. <coughs> now there's going to be lots of movement in a minute, I suspect. Oh no, remove the two rightmost personality cards. Yes, you see, now they, they don't seem that bad. <laughs> no, they're actually quite good in a way because we get. Yeah, Yvette Killer, take four iron from the supply. And Timothy Brassi, build two rail without expending time, but you must still expend the coal and the yeah. iron. That's nice, save you two time. Yeah. Uh, well, that's exactly what I was about to do next. So, and you haven't used that card. Well, I will take Timothy Brassy and then use him. Spend the coal and the iron, and then we get Marinda Sweet plus one VP for every corn farm. If you want to get involved with the fight with the big ones, I kind of want them to come to me, because then I, I've got this. Then you're going to need. It's better then you're going to need to put far, uh, tracks in with farms uh, on the route to uh, lure them in. That was a three. It oh yeah, yeah. It doesn't rise. matter, does it? So you'll go again. I'll, I'll yeah, take advantage of the fact that it's less time than the others. Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, there's again. I haven't got gold, so if they attack me, I can't defend can't myself. Defend yourself, that's yeah. 
that's the problem here. So I'll, I'll import, export, and sell those for those. Okay. Bring Which was one. One time, yeah. So then purple moves. Nothing to move. I'm going to do green. Mm. Purchase some so at the moment they've got quite a lot of points still sat on, on the board. Well, these are all double, aren't they? Yeah. So you flip them all over, double them, and yep. that's their points. And plus one for Every. the destroyed Plus part. one for that, and that's worth three. Yep. So they've got four yep. plus all of this doubled, and we've got what we've, whatever we've got. <laughs> we're we're going to end up around here if we do yeah. well. I've got two, four, six, plus I think you killed seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen, plus your phosphorus, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Could you move me on? One space, please. Thank you. What you was the score when you won the game? Uh, around, I think the highest score was like in the 30s. Okay. So 23 is not a winning score. No. Uh, red moves me on one, please. I'm going to do a reset. Then I will spend one time to take the engineer, who gives me my healing up. No. Thanks, Paul. Field engineer. Philip, was that name? Luigi. Luigi Caprotti. Uh, Mrs. Bradshaw, plus one victory point for every three rails on the board. Every three of your rails? Every three yeah. of your rails. Yeah. You have on the board. <coughs> so three points for me. And probably most of us. Okay. Did I get my time moved on there? Uh, what did you do no. second? You did. Uh, you, you, you took a uh, you reset and then took a character. Took character. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Green, Adam. <coughs> yeah. Very little time left now. Yeah, yep. very little time. Forty-four. That's what we Yeah, so eight. We played one game where the old ones had sixty-five points. Ouch! <laughs> Did someone lose a horde? I guess they were. No. Oh, they, they just didn't get. No, we just didn't fight. <laughs> yeah. go to we didn't turn them up. And no one, no one was going in there to fight them because they were good in farms. What? Right. Forgetting so that an that's, event. Yep. To reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex and draw six cards for its movement. It's an XX. Yep, so replace it with another level two, which is zombies. Quite light zombies. Easy. So they move six, so. Hang on. Uh, just do them one at a time because Paul's going to destroy them. Can you remember how many we, we do? Zombies one. do move. They have to move to that farm. Paul can now spend two gold to mobilise his defence force. And one time. Okay. So if they do survive this, they move. Yeah. Uh, no damage. They take one. No damage. Mark we. Armoured cars, no. Infantry do one to it. It does one to you and one sanity loss. And one sanity loss. Yes. Okay, it's got three. Yeah, it's got one more. Uh, it does one damage to you and one sanity loss. It does one damage to you and one sanity loss. What? Wow. So I've not hit it for three times in a row. It's there or destroy your train. Well, your train's already taken damage, so you must have been born on the train. Yeah, I'll put another one on the train. And one sanity loss? But though, this but is... is but if, but it, it's if, if you carry on, on no, I've, got, I've got to carry on. But yeah, one more sanity loss and, you've, and your strike force right. Uh You're okay? And these are zombies. <laughs> and you're dead. Seriously? Yep. Armoured car. No armoured car. No. So you take on the damage, physical damage. Then your sanity breaks and you're forced to retreat. So the infantryman and the armoured uh, armor train are destroyed. That's that's insane. And your armoured train is destroyed, Paul. You took damage that's, on that's it. That's insane. Yeah, that is... Um, they panicked. And because they're zombies, they heal up. So that's the tiniest yeah. monster in the game. And I had a force which was good. Yeah. But, and they hit me four times in a row without me doing any damage to it. Yeah, okay. That's a bit. Uh, that's a bit extreme. A bit unfortunate. They then continue to move. Do they? They destroy the farm. Yep. Wow. And they are movement number two. They don't move. They've got now two farms three. in the same range. They don't move. Movement number four. They don't move. Movement number five. They don't move. Movement number six. They don't move. No, they're still digesting. Wow. That's a good yep. One. yep. Bit of a loss. Oh, I turned. 
was like a hold of zombies that huh. fell in front of the train and yeah, just just dumped the wheels up. I think it. there's some zombies to attack. Oh, because you've got plus one range, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Yep, so his infantry can make... Infantry my can now infantry and my artillery can both get there. She's two so times. Basically driving right past the Temple of Evil to go and beat up some zombies that are eating some farmers. <laughs> Honestly, you're, like, you're terrible. Right. It, it, it's got to be done in mankind. Uh, uh, zombies hit you, hit you for one damage and do one sanity damage. Is that, is that, is that a really nasty force, this? One sanity, yeah. Uh, infantry does one damage to him. If we do just one damage to them, they do one damage to you and one sanity loss. If you kill them, <laughs> there's the cards. You need to train your infantry properly, that's yeah. what I say. They got, they got overconfident, you know, dealing with all these giant shot losses. Yeah. I mean, oh, they're just some zombies. What they go, oh my god, I'm going to It's only a little zombie. Unexpected bonus. Mm-hmm. So did, so did you move on your time for yep. fighting the zombies? So me, I'll reset. Yeah. I think it's very, very little time left. Yeah, it became very close, but there's also running out of things to kill. Mm. Okay, blue. And probably um, still six, 50 or 60 points worth yeah, of... Yeah, I've, I've got to reset. Yep, blue resets. Just one. Oh, Purple moves move forward, forward kill it off the to move. Yep. Green. So, if I wanted to go up here, I need to build rails, don't I? Yep, I need to build, build more train. Okay, I have to build some rails. Okay. On the flat? Yeah. You've got an airship? You yeah. can always go and attack with an airship just to see what something see what is. It is. Mm. Mm. Trouble is, means you're burning time yeah. twice, effectively. Actually, and you've got rails. to use an attack, so it yep, costs so gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some rails. Actions time in gold, so... Which is two time. Yeah. So it's never got to kill them anyway. Not that way. Um, and... It's that way or it's that way, I guess. Yeah, so I could go up the head and could go there and there. Yeah, because yeah, Paul, Paul, Paul's rushing in to engage there. <coughs> oh, like, no, no, no. Well, he was. I was. He was. And then the zombies <laughs> ate him. Yeah. That's my turn. Okay, red. Uh, I think we'll need to do. I just want to find Cthulhu. <laughs> An attack. Gonna send that out to with, with cool, otherwise I'm not going to come to help. So it really tossed me two times, so I'm striking that yeah. one there. What do I find? Just more yeah, filthy, yeah, zombies. Yeah, yeah. Zombies. filthy zombies. Filthy so zombies. I'll count the damage. Zombie. Filthy zomb. Right, we engage. Uh, my armoured cars hit them for one. They hit me for one, which I immediately heal up using Luigi. Okay. And then I engage a Bombardier Miller Milligan to do another damage. Mm -hmm. Do you get a... I do lose a sanity. Oh. Yep, so that's... Round two, nothing. Round three, nothing. Round four, if we should do one damage to him. Round five, armoured cars do one damage to him. Round six, if we should do one damage to them. Round seven, if you finish them off. You heard all the bird. The oh, yeah, yeah, I well, well, someone had to clear that part of the deck. Cards in a row. Mm -hmm. I, have a nice, I have a nice combined force, so that's what I've got. All right. Come back home, boys. There's a successful zombie killing there. Uh, it's then. Yeah. So another event. Beautiful. Assassination. You, you would have killed them if you'd had the combined force, but no. all, the damage, all the damage cards no. would come out. I didn't up. draw any infantry. You just drew four infantry cards in a row, I drew none. Yeah. No, that, that's what no, I also had armoured cars and artillery yeah, that damage is coming up. Didn't matter. So, I drew we, no infantry cards. we have Franz Neumann. If one of your units is eliminated, return it to the barracks. And Desta Danger, remove any Old One Temple along with any Old Ones on it. You do not score the VP yet. Just, just remove it, that's great. Yeah. yeah, he just blows the temple up. So. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, me. So. Going to buy in some more forces then. Huh? Oh, why are we going to buy in that card? <laughs> Get rid of that one. <laughs> um, yeah, the problem is if they attack me now, but then again, I haven't got the gold. That's that's the problem now. So, but you can farm, but it takes time. Yeah, well, I'm going I'm to do that. I've got three farms. One, two, three. Which I think is one of each. Mm -hmm. So I've got that one in there, that one in there, 
and that one in. Go on there, right there. Well, <laughs> <coughs> yeah, out in there. Which gets me three gold. Put them in. Because then three of us are in that area if, if, if they yeah. arrive there to. Uh, we pull. Does no, nothing. No, 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 first. Yeah. I'm going to go import export and have one and one. So you move forward? I move forward one and then so I'm going to spend one time to withdraw. And then purple. So the no movement. Yep. He just moves on. on. And then red. Red. I'm going to import export. So when you're on the silver you don't take any more. Don't take so you want to be there and spend three. Yep. Yeah. For the optimum that's, use that's, of that's, that's, that's optimum use of time. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. I, I move on one, I went to import export. Green. I'm going to spend one to reset. Green moves on one, green goes again. I would try to attack some something. Okay. Which one? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we're going to send them, that, and that. That would be two no, times. No, two, no. two times for green. Um, where's the thing? Well, you can just flip over and we know which one you've attacked then. Yeah. Uh, let's try this one. Cthulhu? Right in the corner. Kangaroo. <laughs> Two time wasted. Oh, what a you time waster. God, you you <laughs> God damn it, Skippy. Right. How much lead have we just put into 30 kangaroos? Okay. God. Who'd have thought a red one would have been a kangaroo? Yeah. So, you don't quite know. Two time. <laughs> some one coal, one Some bloke called up and went, oh, there's, there's some strange creature over here, you better have seen the whole army. <laughs> oh, and they turn up and go, two times. He's like, oh yeah, look at it. It's some ancient evil from the Forgotten Realm. No, it's a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey, mate, there's something bizarre out of me back girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, oh. Yeah, it's looking to be funny. Right. It's dead. Yep. It's an event. event. Please not more assassinations. Reveal the old one in the lowest numbered hex and draw six cards for its movement. One. More zombies, Paul's favourite. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> so the closest target is, is Paul's Paul. blue farm. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, they brought... Don't move. You keep track of me, Adam. Yep. One. Don't move. Do move. So it has to be straight south. Do move. Uh, are you going to mobilise your few remaining forces? There are five. Yep, you will, health. you'll do one damage automatically. Your airship can potentially soak up to three. Oh, well, I mean, how? Although they are zombies, not sure how much they'll do, yeah. how much they'll do to airships. I mean, the, sure, surely the bad luck can't keep going for it. But well, the thing is, I don't, I don't have the forces. I ended on <coughs> the train last time, which was going to hit them and do damage, and it just never came out. Whereas this time, I've only got. But you can inflict yeah. a small amount of damage on them, even then. At least if someone else kills them. You'll get victory points. You'll, you'll, you'll get one of the two victory points, unless everyone hits them for one, in which case they'll go to the one. time. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the, the issue, problem. isn't it? But then, if not, they they could destroy the farm, wouldn't they? The yeah, I mean, it's this. But I think they're going to destroy the farm anyway. The no, thing is, I, I don't think I can kill them. Fair enough. Uh, it's just whether it's worth bothering to try. I think it is. Go on, let's, let's do it. I spend yeah. one time putting one guy. On the airship, airship with a balloon. You watch you watch him slaughter easily. Yep. So your airship hits it for one, which then becomes two using Juliet. Infantry do one. Nothing happens. They do one damage to your infantry and one sanity loss. Do you wish to withdraw the infantry? Airships are not good against zombies. Uh, they're a bit poor. No, they're poor. But, well, but, but zombies are not going to hit airships. I'm not hit airships either, yeah. Yeah, we'll withdraw them, so we're going to be here for a while now. Okay. Right. Oh, it's the sanity that's going to hurt. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Nothing. One sanity loss. Nothing. Nothing. Armoured cars. No. No. One sanity loss. So if I take the other sanity loss now, what happens? You have to fall back, that's it. <coughs> so I might as well keep going. Yeah. One damage to the air, from the airship. 
Yeah. So it's just case, what breaks first? The, 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 does the ocean kill the zombies or do your forces break in terror? Your forces break in terror. Okay. So the zombies heal up. There's four damage on there. And the farm gets munched. No, no zombies heal. Uh, zombies heal, yeah. Alright. Uh, what was your. What was the count for movement, do you remember? Uh, that was three, yeah. That was, are you sure? That was fourth. Sure that was fourth. Number of cards. I think it didn't move, didn't move, move. did move, did move. So four, yeah. four. Oh, okay. okay. Does move. Uh, closest target is now Paul's yellow. But does it go that way? Five that? counterclockwise. So it'll move to there rather than yeah. to the temple. The last and one. then doesn't move. Yeah. So it's on my railway. Yes. If only I had a rail. Choo choo. Yeah. Yellow. And what I'm good against it. We've been quite lucky we've got so many assassinations rather than <coughs> activations. Yeah. Are infantry good against um They're not they're good they're good against everything but Cthulhu himself and the Shoggoths. Then I am just gonna throw the infantry there away for one time. Okay, get the zombies. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. One damage from your infantry. Nothing. One damage to your ground forces and one sanity loss. One damage from your infantry. One damage from your infantry. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Nope. One damage to your infantry and one sanity loss. One damage to infantry and one sanity loss. Okay, I'm going to flip that card and kill them. Okay. <coughs> Got you out of there just in time. How many times was that? Well, one time. Well, one time. Had you spent them one time? Yeah. So yeah. you again? Yeah. And the troops come home and heal? What's left of them? Uh, I've only lost one unit. They were shit anyway. They yeah. were. I am going to spend two time to build two rail. I'll go there. They've got nothing. Mm -hmm. They'll do nothing. Purple goes and again. This should be the last event for them. See what happens. Uh, draw and place a level three old one face up on each revealed temple. Oh. Hey, you guys. I mean, oh dear. Cthulhu. Ah. Oh. Hello. Wow. Okay, well, at least I know they're not as though Cthulhu's up at the top. But that means that's only 20, 12 points at the end of the game instead well, of 24. 24. Yeah, yeah, so that's better for Nobody us. wasn't on the board. Yeah. yeah, but if he was on the board, it would have been 24. Yeah. Mm. So, are we moving him or just... just uh, oh, yes, just to activate. Um, he doesn't move, and... Have we shuffle the cards to draw, have a little bit more tension? Cthulhu on that temple. Oh, if Cthulhu that is not well, ideal. The farm's the closest target, the yellow farm. <laughs> and he goes and eats it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yum, yum, yep. yum. Okay. Mm. Blue. I'll take a character. Oh, it's VPs for your network. That's good. Um, that moves on one. What does she do, please? Flip one or, or, or two blighted farms to their productive side. Oh, she's the one that restores farms. Ah, oh, there you go. Red. Four points for me. Yes. No. Which... <laughs> oh, I hate draft. <laughs> Well, we're doing a final military action, which brings me up to 52, because I'm sending in everyone again. Yeah. <coughs> I'll hit that middle one. Am I going? Oh, sorry, flipping me go. Okay, All right. My armoured car hits it for one. It does a sanity. And it does a sanity hit to me. Splat, splat. My airship hits it for one, it hits my infantry for one, which I heal up using Louis, mm -hmm. and then Bombardier blasts it again, so that's two more damage. One from the airship, one from the artillery. Mm -hmm. Nothing. 
My artillery hits it again, my infantry take some damage. Get you. Yep. Now there is a... And my infantry finish the job. No more dead me go. There is a small chance that Cthulhu will end up at Paul's port. No, it's too far away. Because we can no. move at most four spaces. Oh. Because at most, he's, he, they'll activate twice more. Yeah. And at most, they'll oh, be yeah. able to... <laughs> yeah. He can get yours. <laughs> yeah, I know. He can't get anyone else. So I have to go and get some money to get yeah. a train. So is it me? <coughs> uh, green, yep. Yeah. But he's going to move from there. Oh, he can get to my port. He isn't getting to my port next time, so I have time to do something. But, no I don't. You might be just holding your infantry at your port and if worse comes to worse, they fight to the death. Because they'll stay until either their sanity breaks, they will get wiped out or Cthulhu is dead. Yeah, if, get to, if, if you get to my port, point, we, are going, <coughs> we are going to lose. Yeah. Sanity will not. But it won't with us. Cthulhu does a lot of sanity mm. damage. Yeah. Ideally, Paul goes and hits him. Yeah. Right, what have I missed? Uh, Rob killed another Mygo. Okay. Mygo, I'm just thinking what to do. I think I'm probably going to... You've got good news, Paul. What's the Cthulhu news? is not going to get to your port. Yeah, can't happen, he's too far away. One, two, three, four. He can get there. Cause okay, because he'll be following the... Yeah, yeah, cause yeah. He has to move to... He has to read my farms first. Yeah. Okay. Unless you build a farm there. Build a farm there, because he might wipe out your force. I, so I won't do that. Well, Actually, I might build a farm there. You might just, in that case, you might just leave them away from you. Because yeah. I've got to keep them away from my port. Because <coughs> if he eats your port, you lose the game. We or, lose the game. Well, Rob was saying that there's a chance that we could still win. No, it's cool. There is, there is not a. Could you move me? There is not an immediate. Space? We lose if the port falls. It simply immediately stops the game. All right. I'll be out at the points. But just because they all count double. Okay. Because I'm used to the prototype version. Oh. In the prototype version, it wasn't you immediate. Okay. Oh, sorry. Could you move me forward one, please? Yeah, that's me again. Um, okay. I'm going to build one farm on my turn. Uh, yeah, one you, yeah, is, oh, no, you can't because you, your chain's broken. Oh yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, mm. precisely so we can these things like that. Rails. You can't get past him to develop the area. Um. <coughs> Was that another one? Yeah, move forward another one. Another one. And then me for one. You were airshipping and, and taking the food? Yeah, that one. Here's that. Four points, yeah. Ten. They move twice. So. Does Cthulhu move? He does not move. That's good. He does not, you're safe, your port's safe. He doesn't move twice. Even if he moves next turn, all he'll do is eat up your farms. So you're okay. You can wipe the cold sweat off your brow. Oh, I didn't pay that when I built my last uh, tray. So your penultimate action. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, boys. So, I am... Oh, we should have another card out. <coughs> May double up on the placement of any one type of farm. Okay. That means you can place two of... Of one type of farm, you can have two of them in a hex. Yeah. Because, yeah, you still pay all the costs associated with development, deployment and development. So, I am going to take... Her, I think. And then we'll have Count Diego start each combat with four sanity tokens. That's what I really needed. Right, which is why you get the extra. There's one extra token. The extra sanity token. Yep. Right. So that's my last go, and I'm yep. going to put out three farms. No, two farms. Yep, two, because you, you can't get to your sheep areas. Yep. But I can put one there and one there. Two gold. Yep. Oh, I didn't take the. No, it didn't turn to the Purple. He doesn't move, he just stands there looking om ominous. He does move and therefore munches your last farm. Yeah. Meh, crunch. 
I haven't got the sheet. And is that them done? Yeah, because they're now reached 53, they won't activate again. Right, okay. So it's I simply, everyone does your last. Two time and a gold to build two farms. Yep, cow and sheep. Nice. Take two gold. Uh, I can't build any more farms because I've already done that. I haven't got the gold. Mm -hmm. um, and you can't uh, attack because you haven't got gold? Oh, yeah, he's got gold. Yeah, well, oh, right. go, out, go out in a blaze of glory. <coughs> I'm going to try and attack. Yep. So so send it, send it, send it. Yep. You so should declare what you're yeah, saying. It would have been everything because there's no point not sending it everything except for your armour train. Yep. How much time? Uh, two. Yep. Traitors. traitors. Oh, it's the elite traitors as well. Or well, the loyalists as they assist mm. to call themselves. But honestly, I don't care what they want to call themselves. A 4-7 or a 4-8? Four, 4-8. Eight. Four, four, eight. Eight. It's the biggest. It's the nastiest. Mm. Okay. So, your arm. So I'll track you have. I'll track your damage using light colour. Yeah, that's fine. One. One damage to them. One damage to them. One damage to them, one damage to you, ground forces. Have you got a one that you do on automatic uh, damage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I might as well use that. Yeah, yeah. Halfway. One damage. No, no, no. Just one damage to your airship. You haven't got any artillery. But there's no point retreating it because it isn't worth VP. The airship's destroyed, no. but you do one damage to them. Uh, no damage, so I think you could damage with it's dead. One damage to each side. One more, no, two more and it's dead. No damage. No damage. One of yours dies. Plenty more where that came from. Yep, send in the reserves. And worth nothing. One damage to each side. Roll seven. <coughs> you just need one more to kill him. Nope. Nope. There he goes. There we go. So take the... Take the thing, get the four points. Mm. And only one face down one. Your last action for the game. My last action for the game will be to build Two farms, a sheep ranch, and a gold, gold farm, for which I gained two gold. And now do the scoring. So, first thing is... So the timer markers are now used to try and score, are they? <coughs> yes. So I mean, now, you can yeah. start with new ones. They are, they, are, they are now reset. Back to, back to zero. So we'll do the great old ones first. So we have 15 on the map, plus that doubled. 23. 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 for the... So yeah. why, why, why one of us scores 26, the humans I've win. I've already scored 26, so... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start with you, Paul. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yep. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, uh, eight, nine. And I think that's it. Did you add your two on for yes. your... Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get two. I'll get... Six. Six on there. So Rob was the only one not to score more than the old ones. Yeah, I sort of tied it off. Right. Yeah. There we go. So, I won with 36 points, despite fighting... The world's most incredibly. Uh, yellow came second with 31. Uh, green with 27. Um, and 26. So yeah. I'm supposed to be doing a review of this in December. What I might do is not do a review of this in December and just release this video as a playthrough and review. 
Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I thought about it now. So I wasn't expecting to like this game at all going in. It's semi-co-op for me, which is a completely flawed concept, and semi-co-op games do not work at all. Um, because they have the, the problem where the, the one player who's doing terrible can deliberately take actions to cause the game to end early and not do what they should be doing during the game. Now, none of us did that, because I generally don't play games with those people who do that, but yeah. the fact that the game allows it is a problem for me. <coughs> I didn't feel that this game had that problem, for a start, even though technically it could have done. You could have worked out you weren't doing very well, and therefore you could have tried to do things... The only thing he could do could was have lure monsters down to himself and not defend his lord. Oh, but we can yeah. still intervene. Yeah. And it, requ it requires so much effort to do that... You don't think it would have been possible? Not, not, it's not so much possible, more if you're going to put that much time and effort into it, you probably could have won the game by right. putting the effort somewhere else. It's like, okay. I'd have to focus all my attention on deliberately building a chain through to a high level melee monster and, and, and putting farms down and for building it to farms, which right, sort of yeah. a ludicrous amount of work to deliberately end a game early rather than just saying, I'm bored and I want yeah. to move on. There are, there are people out there who will do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Now, let, let's just say, for example, Cthulhu didn't turn up there and it was this was the face down tile for Cthulhu. <clears throat> so instead of four, which was double to eight, yep. it would have been 12. Double to 24. 24. Yep. So what that would have meant is it would have been an extra 16 points along and we would have all lost. Yeah. Yep. Because we didn't push in. So the there's, there's, there's a possible problem with the game. Is we've been playing it for, what, two hours and then because of the one face down tile that we didn't get to happened to be Cthulhu, we've lost the well, game. No, if, they, if their being position had been switched, if that had been Cthulhu and that had been the infantry... We'd have been urging you to, yeah. to go and open I wasn't that. in a position but to... But we attack. already well, knew no. Cthulhu was there. Because it was like, but it you could have sent your airship just to flip him over. Right. It's a 12-point switch. It would only have been four, was it four to eight points more, because if those had been switched, Cthulhu would have been worth 24, but he wouldn't have been worth eight, he would have been worth four. Oh, that would have probably... Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's another yeah. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, it, less, so it would have been... Another eight, I'd say. So you'd still have won. Oh, okay, okay. So there's, so there's, there's that. Yeah. Now the combat. I'd heard that the combat is not a mechanic that I would like. Um, I found it interesting. I, yeah. I thought that the card flip and the way it works, and presumably because of this table here, where you know that different types of yeah. units are better against other types. It's basically how many icons there are on cards in yeah. the deck. On both sides. So I, I like that. I like the fact that the sanity is there because that, that's thematic. I like the way that the multi-force attack works. I like the support. You know, yeah. for, a, for a game that effectively has combat with a random <coughs> draw, right. I really liked the way that that worked. Obviously, except for that one combat that I had, <laughs> yeah. right, which was like, that. Pro if you'd have done the it percentages, that, that would have been only. like a 2% chance of that happening. Yeah. The rest of the combat seemed to play out roughly as it should. There was a bit of this, there was a bit of that. You, I just you, got have, a, you have enough time to work out if things are going bad and pull out. Yeah, I just got a bad run of yeah. three or four cards. But that didn't actually stop me winning the game. In fact, if that hadn't have happened, I'd have, I'd have been here. Yeah. Um, so in, in this case, it didn't, it didn't skew the results. So I did enjoy yeah. the combat mechanic. There is a random nature to it, but... That's the nature of almost any game that involves combat. Yeah, almost. I've yet to find... Civilization. Yeah. <laughs> you lose one, I lose one, you lose one, done. Yeah, which I, again, so. I don't agree is a particularly good way of no, doing no, no. combat. I think so, and then even going back to what you are saying about if Cthulhu was still there, if Cthulhu was yeah, the only tile there, then surely that's thematic that if Cthulhu was it's, there, yeah, it's, yeah, he would eat the whale anyway. It's, so. it's not like rolling a one or a six, yeah. uh, because the whole combat is not decided in one card. No, no, exactly. It, there's multiple exactly. cards. And the fact that you can retreat after any round is, with that, with, is uh, quite uh, nice. That's zero risk, and your air force and your ground forces mm. are two separate. Yeah. So if the air force has taken a battery, you can pull them out without risking, without everyone having to pull out with yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's really nice as well. So mm. another thing that I cover in my reviews is... Graphic design, artwork, so I, do you want to just look up who the artist is, if it says so? Yeah, sure. Because um, I, like, I do like the art style on, on the character cards. Oh, no. um, I do like that. Book. More importantly, graphic design was... Oh, it's James Colmer. James Colmer, right. Thank and you very additional much. graphics by Bill Bricker. Oh, I know Bill. Right, OK. I don't know what Bill did, but I was about to say that the graphic design is especially clear. Yeah. The only thing I felt that the game could have had is... Rather than this table here, the space on these unit tiles to put 
a bar at the top or the bottom of what they are good against. That's the only thing. Having to keep referring to that, but apart from that... That or, or maybe finding space on the character sheet. Or finding space on here. The iconography was very, very clear. I could understand all of these actions and what they did. The iconography on the board... You know, it, I mean, it's simple things. You play some games where this icon is in the middle, which means you can then no longer see yeah. it once it's, once, it's once it's covered over. Or if you've got a monster there. Or if there's a monster there. So, yeah, everything on the board was clear. Um, I felt it was all very intuitive. The card text was all good. We didn't. We only had one question against this. Was it? Set up times. Yeah, we had one question of this card here, and that was only because you queried it. But yeah. I thought it was pretty <laughs> pretty clear. Now, I've not read the rule book of the game. You two have. Yep. Yep. I found it very clear. Okay. I was able to learn the game from the rule book and play it without, with one minor thing of forgetting that zombies regenerate hit points. But that was clear in the rule book. You just yeah. forgot just, it. Just didn't see it. Yeah. And that is only zombies. Yeah, because the zombies are a horde that regenerates. Oh, right. Because once, if you don't kill them, they go off, kill civilians, and rebuild their strength. Whereas the rest, if you don't kill them, they're still wounded or at reduced strength. Yeah. Right. Just one. Okay. And as we mentioned through the video, there are variants. There's another side of the board which is harder. Uh, there are variant tiles that we accidentally drew during the game <laughs> um, that we decided to take out and then put in. And there's a solo mode. Now, is it just a solo game? Because you said campaign. Is solo it, game. It's a game, solo think, game. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so it's not a campaign. There's, a, there's also story. special two-player rules oh, where, right. where you can oper operate on each other's train tracks. Okay. That becomes far more of a true co-op. Right. Okay. Because you're relying on each other a lot more. So, so rule book, good. I say, I've not read it, but Rob was able to learn the game. Did you have to go onto BGG to look up any answers no, for anything? No, it all, it all made sense to me. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, artwork, graphic design is good. Gameplay, I, I enjoyed the game, not just because I won, but I this bit I loved. The whole choosing your actions, if you want to choose the same action again, you pay a goal. This is very Euro-y, yeah. uh, and I like that. And then spending a time to reset everything. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. So, other people's opinions. Yeah, I must admit, I did really like it. I thought it was a really fun game. Um, I, the only thing I felt was a bit weak was the card was the assassination card. Yeah, I didn't think that. We got made a lot of bad them compared thing. to other playthroughs. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, if that deck's meant to be bad things that happen, yeah, it didn't feel like anything bad was coming from that. It just gave us more options. Yeah, so. may, maybe that card is just a variant on the nothing bad happens, mm. but but recycle two cards from the thing. Yeah. It might be like that. Because if those assassinations had have been something bad, then we'd have never have succeeded. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. So it's, yeah. A, yeah, it, it's a kind of no event and discard the right most two characters of the road. Yeah. By which time they've normally been out there a little while. Yeah, so exactly. So well, they're, they're, they're not the highly sought after cards. Well, the one that was points for cattle, mm. I, I was going to take yeah. at the end. But thankfully I got the one which was... Flip over two of your blighted farms. Which that may points. well be actually the reason is to stop you leaving them until the end and no one buying yeah. them. It keeps yeah. them cycling yeah. into. Yeah. Yeah. If I want that one, I better buy it now rather than leaving it right. But I know what you mean during the game. It felt like, like, oh, that actually wasn't yeah. anything. I mean, it, I think that it was. I think that you need it in there to cycle through the cards if no one's buying them. True. So. Yes. Yeah. We did need to cycle through them because we. So we didn't get through all of the cards in the game, which is yeah. good. There's a few that, mm -hmm. um, and there are certain combos that work. That worked work well, well together. together. Yeah, no, I, uh, I think it's a great game. Yeah. And that was your first play of it? Yeah, yes, it was, yeah. So, Rob, this was your third play? Yep. This has been, yeah, first play through, we ended got we got killed really early on mm -hmm. because someone built a chain of farms, pointed to their HQ, <laughs> lost their army, and a Migo just ate its way straight through and wiped him out. It wasn't even a big one, it was just it a was, little it was, one. It was, just... it was a little one, but he got all his troops killed through a, through a bad skirmish earlier on. Right. Um, because that triggered the end game when still most of the red and the green were face down, although it's not an immediate humans lose, it the Cthulhu player was. was about 72 points at the end of it, whereas okay. we were on sort of 10, 10 to 15. So your first experience of the game was a was a learning game yep. where you definitely learned what not to do. Yeah, got right. it. Okay. <laughs> very good about dropping down farms for gold early on. Farms are sort of quite often a later game thing because you do get some gold, but it's the victory points. If you build territory, you've got to defend it, because if you lose them, it's points to the bad guys. Yeah. yeah. Unless you've got Capina. Yep. This is what won me the game. <coughs> yeah, being it able allowed to me to build the farms yeah. and build the armoured trains, and it was like, yeah, come to me. I, I don't yep. want to attack them. I want you them want to them attack to me. Yeah. I should have got the armoured train early, uh, although when I got it, that's when the fight went wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's that card that won the game for me. He and it allowed me to build the farms. If you keep 
you keep getting hit. It That's why I needed yeah. gold. I had to make it sure my gold was sufficient gold up. Yeah. that I was able Seen, to. Seeing it, I really struggled to get gold. Yeah. Really it look, it looks, the map looks to be really rich, mm. and then you realise how fast the resources get chewed up, and then suddenly you're down to farms or import export yeah. to try and keep the money going, or having to keep taking this action yeah. to reset and them. The, the placement of the resources on the board at the start, that was the random right. setup that's as well. Yeah, that's done through this. So you draw so these tiles, again, place them on each of the triangles, flip them over, and it tells you yeah. how to seed the board. How to so seed it tells board. you where to place. So there would be three coal, coal there, three iron here. Mm. Yeah, and three, and, and three, three monsters, monsters one, two, two three. three. Okay. And if they overlap, if it's resources, it's, there's just a big stack of resources. We saw a few combined resource stacks yeah, around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we also monsters, saw combined yeah. monsters if monsters level overlap, two, one here. Then if it's two level ones, they become a level two. If it's two level twos, they become a level three. Oh, right. Okay, so, so that's rather, not necessarily rather, a one. That could yeah. be a two. No, that's, that's yeah. why that was a two that's initially. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Two. Rather than there right. being two monsters to fight, it's just, it's just one more that's nice. powerful. I like, I and again, like this is variable. There's more tiles than the, of this than there are spaces on the board to put them on. Right. Um, yeah, we ended up with a, in my experience, a resource poor, monster rich scenario. In here? Yeah. Okay. We had a lot of monsters on the board. Lots we did not have a lot yeah, of resources. There are only three reds left. So, you know, yeah. that was my excuse for hunting the kangaroos. They, <laughs> they, they have the gold in their pouches. And, that's they, and you let them run off. Of it. That's a good point, though. The random element of the kangaroos, mm. you found two of them, and that cost you points. It did. And you probably would have won those fights. Yeah. So yeah. there, is, there is a harder version of the game where kangaroos. you just take out you know, the, the, the no event cards get removed, the kangaroo cards get removed, so something will always happen. But that would have been good for you. Yeah, yeah but I mean, I, I, even though I've got the kangaroos, I, yeah. I did enjoy the kangaroos being there. So. Yeah. Yeah. so Paul, you've played this, how many times have you played the final version? Okay, so I got sent the prototype, we played the prototype maybe five or six times. Okay. Um, we played the final version i probably played the final version once just before we went to Essen. Yeah. We demoed this at Essen. Right. Um, on our stand. Um, so I think there was one whole playthrough of that, but I didn't yeah. sit in on that. Um, and we've played once since. Okay. So only a couple of times now, obviously right. today. Okay. Uh, I'm keeping playing it. I, right, I like okay. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, as you say, very Euro. <coughs> Bits of it, But yeah. quite thematic too. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so for me, this is this is a, a nice game. It's a hybrid game. It, uh, hybrid, know, that's it, the word. It, yeah, hybrid. <laughs> it, it, it will definitely fit in the people who like the thematic games, especially the Cthulhu feel, and mm -hmm. it's got fighting in. Uh, but for those hardcore Euro gamers out there like me, I enjoyed it a lot more than I was expecting mm. to do. Combat Definitely. is a sticky point, but combat is always a sticky point in any non-combat yeah. games. And even then, you can find it's hard to really get one that combines a feeling well, of control I, with a feeling of the random nature. Yeah, of I, I like combat mechanics which do something a bit different, as we covered earlier on the cards, the withdrawing, the partial withdrawing, and all of that lot. Yeah. Um, it's like that game that, that, that we played, um, Forbidden Stars. Forbidden Stars. Yeah. You know, that has dice for combat and everything else, but it's clever. It, it does an interesting thing with it. It isn't just roll a bunch of dice. So I like combat mechanics where where something is done. It's just different. Different. It's, different. it's not just who rolls the highest. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it, it does encourage you to have a, a combined force rather than mm -hmm. just massive stacks. Yeah, because plus, of the cards. Plus, I think the randomness of the combat is offset. Because I, I don't like that much randomness in games, but I like manipulating the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that. That was better for me. Yeah. Well, so. There we go. So that is Australia, designed by Martin Wallace, published by Stronghold, uh, Games. Stronghold Games, Stronghold. American, uh, Schmill Games in Schmil New Zealand, Zealand Schmil. Schmil. and distributed in the UK by both Spiral Galaxy by. and Asmodee UK. Right. There we go. So I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any thoughts on the game, please pop them in the comments below. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. So there we go. I hope you found that useful, whichever bit of the video you watched. And as I mentioned at the start, if you want to see more videos like this, then please consider supporting me on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. I'm hoping that I'm able to make more of these videos next year and I need your help in order to do so. So that's everything for this video. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.